Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla. Welcome to a very special stream. We're doing Resident Evil 2 on the N64. Some one of the first games I actually streamed on this channel when it started back on Mixer, uh, but we never did it on Twitch. And because we had to reshuffle the schedule today, Sasha will be busy, so can't stream Chrono Trigger without her. Uh, I've decided to do this. This is something I wanted to do uh, often, but there's always something to stream. Carter, good to see you. No German, just English and French. Why? I have no idea. Maybe there's a... I, I assume there are versions with like English, German, English, French, English something, but uh, I, this is the only one I've ever seen. And uh, Kun, <laughs> hello. Trollosaurus, hello, hello. It's not synchronized? It should be. Let me check the, the latency again. Oh, jeez. I had to do a lot to connect this to the old capture car. Ah, how about now? So, mic, zero, line, zero. Now it should be synchronized. Testing, testing. My, I am opening my mouth. How does it look now? <laughs> it should be okay now, is it? Give me a yes over there. So, oh yeah, it is. And you know, as it's the as is the tradition of the channel, we're playing on an actual N64. Very good controller, Rumble Pack, Expansion Pack, all the packs plugged in. This is it. Thank you, thank you, Carter. Thank you for being my test test. I don't want to say test dummy, but test person. Um, Uh, 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 so since this is gonna be like off the, I'm planning a full Resident Evil marathon, like all the games, at least all the, the games I have. Hey kitty, watch out. Um, what I'm gonna do, do here tonight is something totally backwards, which is playing with the controls that were unique to, um, to, uh, this version, N64 version, and that's, um. Uh, the controls are like in Resident Evil Outbreak, or to Carter, more familiar uh, uh, Legacy of Kane Defiance. So instead of like using the traditional tank controls, which would be these, we're going to go with these. I think we're going to see first person. I think first person is what they mean here. I, I, I could never get this, but we'll see when the game starts. Which means... It's kind of a cheat in this game. I've never actually played through the entire game with these controls because instead of having to turn around, like you have fucking hip issues <laughs> through and out back, uh, where you pull the stick, that's where you go. Another interesting thing about this version is it actually used the analog stick. So as you walk, you could run by pushing the stick further and walk by doing it you know by pushing it slider instead of holding a run button which is something i always like and it's one of the rare games you can actually play holding the controller like a human being not like <laughs> you know but well, we're not gonna do that because we're gonna use the analog stick today because of these controls it's a shit fest to play with d-pad uh and these controls so i think this is it d we want the uh, auto aim i oh, will see i think this that's it back and then new game normal and we're gonna go backwards so the canon uh story is claire a liam b why because well when you play leon a claire b half of the events are missing uh what does happen is happens differently than what we know from future games so that's how we know that claire a liam b is the right scenario also you don't even get the side quest curing cherry cherry <laughs> Sherry, as you'll hear in Nintendo 64 version, um, you don't cure her from the uh, G-Virus and all that. So it's a little shuffled. Uh, released in Canada. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, go there while I read that. This was released in Canada, hence the two languages, English and French. The only logical explanation for it since it's common for those regions. I, I, no, it was actually, this is the PAL version, European one. It was very hard to find, and thanks to Sasha for organizing the whole fucking raid on <laughs> eBay to get me the, this, I think, four years ago for my birthday. This was something I always wanted. Fuck the PlayStation version. <laughs> and uh, I like that you have both stories on one cart. Um, the FMVs are compressed, so here are some differences. So both stories on one cart. FMVs are heavily compressed, as you can see. 
and even the aspect ratio is like compressed but it's a miracle this game exists on this console on only 64 megs uh, cartridge they really had to do a lot they had to compress the color they had to compress everything <laughs> to make this a reality and uh, and it worked i mean it exists uh, it's here and um uh, Where's the reverse button? No. <laughs> what? How the fuck do you even do that with this controller? No, don't you dare. <laughs> and uh, what else? Yeah, one big thing this game, this version has over any other version of RE2 is it has fucking surround sound because N64 was capable of that. It had a superb uh, sound chip and you can hear it, especially with the headphones on. As I walk through the hallways, you'll be able to hear. You'll be able to hear where does if the zombies are behind the camera, not the character, but you know from the point of view, all that. Uh, what else do we have? I think one cutscene, two cutscenes. This should be different in uh, Leon and Claire stories are the same, but it was hard to notice in this in, on the old TVs. And also the B scenario music is missing. That's the biggest loss for me. That rock tune is missing, but you know we'll live without it. And um, uh, 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 what else? I don't know. If I remember more things, I should have written the list, but it was really the like the last minute setup for this game. Uh, and the the old capture card, which has to work through like default desktop audio, so you might hear some sounds, like probably the sound effects will be doubled. I don't know. I did the best I could with what I had. Don't you judge me. So here we go. Leon, we have a randomizer. If I do that, yeah, this version also had the randomizer I never use because. I want to do this tonight, if possible. It's already 10 to 7. Jeez. If I go randomizer, I'm never going to do it. So let's just fucking go original for now. High violence. Blood color. Because Nintendo. Blue, blue and green blood. That's not really better than red blood, is it? This is just me. Just to be more creepier if human zombies spilled blue and green blood. It's just fucked up, man. <laughs> so many ways. Yeah, probably. That's what I also thought. Uh, Trollosaurus. Oh yeah, there was. I played Resident Evil 2 German version on, on the PlayStation. And uh, I couldn't finish it. I played the Claire story, Claire A, and I couldn't finish it because I couldn't understand what the fuck to do near the end, very end of the game. Another good thing with this soul capture card is that I can actually hear the game on the headphones because there's no lag, which is what Carter noticed my... Um, for use in bio my mic was lagging from my old capture card. How I used to set it up, uh, my the old, the new Legato, which has a second stars, delay. So immediately began This is weird. Now hearing the game in the on the headphones, I'm used to the listening on the was TV. Apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Blood color, yeah. <laughs> so it's not. No, it's not. But the Umbrella Ray, Corporation's huh? experiments were far uh, finished. The thing is, so I know that um, Angel Studios, who developed this version, were based in California, Trollsaurus. Uh, they are now Rockstar something, Rockstar San Diego, I don't know, one of Rockstar Studios. But back then, they got the test of porting this from the PlayStation 1. They used tons of tricks there's a there's a lot of about it online i know they use frame interpolation for the videos compressed audio in the cutscenes where you can see everybody will sound a little like sean connery stuff like that yeah i know contra became probotector carter that's just i was looking for pal contra for years until i was like let's see if it were even it was even you know released in pal oh it was it just Called Probotector, and you kill robots Guys like humans. <laughs> Stuff like why that. That's why Claude Moyes from Nintendo was is like, I salute the guy for including fucking bikini in a Zelda game in the German version. No other version had that stuff. The condom line, all that what stuff. Mess. Are you kidding me? Dumbass. Soul Reaver Green Blood? Aww. <laughs> what was that? It's compressed, but it's around. <laughs> All right, that's far enough. Don't move. 
They also had uh, used Factor 5, who did some amazing Star Wars games, no, no. or so I've read. They're amazing. Uh, who did a lot of work on compressing the audio and like transferring the MIDI, MIDI instruments from the PlayStation to the N64 to actually sound, you know, the in-game music, not the cutscenes, not the voice, but I mean the music to sound as close as possible and sound effects to the PlayStation Wait, version, which they did pretty now. cool. <laughs> Probo Dexter. It'll be a lot safer. Yeah, yeah. There. Yeah, but there it is. And it is something. I I am proud to 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 possess this. I mean it's like one little card you pop and where I want to play the old school RE2. And I'm actually using my old old TV here. It's right here in front of me. Very small screen, but so yeah, the biggest thing about this game that blows my mind is it has dynamic resolutions. This is like I didn't introduce that properly. Why I had to switch back to my old Black Store uh, capture card is because Elgato doesn't work with 240p. So this game alternates between 240p and 480i resolutions on the fly. So in the scene, it'll switch resolutions depending on how many enemies there are. If the expansion pack is connected, which I do have connected because without it, it looks like someone smeared poop on the screen and then called it a video game. So effectively, at many scenes, it has higher resolution than the PlayStation 2 version. I think the same or higher as the GameCube version okay. of the game, which was again based on the PlayStation version. Piece. This game is just such a technological marvel. So yeah, outside of these cutscenes, they look well. They look pretty good on the stream, I gotta say. Uh, you will see, maybe notice that the game ups and downs resolution depending on what's on the screen, and this is the only version of the game that does that. So the PS1 version was locked at. Uh, 320 by 240 in human terms, 240p, which all TVs would convert in, convert into 480i. But you could see the difference, even though the textures themselves are compressed and uh, stretched. Okay, let's see. Oh, yep, that's it. Look how I'm walking. This is no Resident Evil walk. So I'm not gonna collect anything. I'm even gonna go for the super costume. Because I can cheat, you see, I can just go backwards in an instant. <laughs> oh! Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Freeze! Yeah. Sorry about that, babe. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! So yeah, the game already switched resolutions a few times. You did. You can notice it, that's the beauty of it, of this capture card at this TV. With Elgato, it would bl blink for a second every time Sorry it does that. For instance, the, you were most of, of the overworld is rendered in 480i, but when you What's enter the menus, they town? switch to 3, 240p. Jesus Christ, these numbers. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. That's true about the uh, carts. And don't collect anything, just fucking go. Not even... There are special files in these, this version as well. I don't know if, you, if by collecting them I break the costume thingy. I'm not sure, actually. Uh... We'll get to them when I do the marathon, when I play this properly. Now I'm just playing it for sh shits and giggles. With weirdest controls ever. Sorry, Kendo. Not even gonna take the shotgun. So what I wanna do is get to the RPD without collecting anything. To unlock the... To get the bread zombie and unlock special costumes. And survive, if possible. Now I wanna... I have to get bitten here. And then... Shrug him off, I guess. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've done this. Ah! Oh, fuck. I could have passed if these controls weren't so fucky. Ah, I did it! Woohoo! Alright, that worked. Hey, sis. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. 
Oh. This is RE2 on the N64 with the weirdest control scheme ever played in the RE2. It's, I'm just playing everything backwards for shits and giggles. Charge! There's Gamut! Gamut! This was inspired by you, my man. I'm playing it with all the... N64... Ah! So good at catching, are you? Woo! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Whew. No chrono tonight because Sasha's busy, so I just uh, I just quickly slapped this stream together. And because I'll do a whole Resident Evil marathon soon. Oh, we just switched resolutions again. I don't know if you can notice it in the stream. Uh, I'll do a whole Resident Evil marathon soon, like soon after Chrono series. But since this is out of the blue, I'm just playing it like I would never play it. Okay, now I want to shoot you out of my way. But my health's not infinite. There's another file here. I'm not gonna collect it because... I don't know if that'll fuck up the costumes. Like I said, we'll do a proper run once the... Marathon starts. Sir, sir. Ah, oh, Jesus, his... Its arm is on my... Ah... Oh. <laughs> okay, that was... Woo! I'm alive, that's what matters. Okay, Brad should be there. Brad, I swear to God, man, if you're not here, I'm gonna find you and kill you again. Though I might need ammo. Yeah, I think he's here. If you're wearing headphones, you can hear... There he, there he is, our poster boy, Brad Vickers. So now... Ah. He's gonna stay here. What I need is more ammo so I can put him down. I doubt I can do it with 15 bullets. He takes like a lot of punishment. What I do want is herbs. Because I'm kind of fucked. Good. Could have gone worse, really. Oh, there are no two zombies here. I guess because I triggered Brad. Maybe. So weird playing Resident Evil 2 without brake controls. There should be a secret angle here, but we'll get to that. <laughs> well, not really. Lupka, it's not... I mean, yeah, it is. This, as you remember it, I'm sure. Because <laughs> this is... The backwards way to play Resident Evil 2. First playing as Leon, A, that's backwards. And second, playing with these controls, it's just wrong. Look, I can fucking turn immediately. That You shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, you don't have to check everything. Just play the game speedily. So this is also training for me. I suck at char charging at these games uh, because I like to... I like to uh, explore and touch everything, so this is quite a challenge. This is more challenging than it is for a normal person to actually, you know, speed through. No, to play slowly, I don't know. So, this is like the prototype of the controls for for Outbreak, as once you, the camera changes, if you don't uh, change the stick position, you'll keep going, but if you keep spinning the stick without letting go, you can actually keep navigating I don't know how to explain it so camera changes I keep holding the stick and then I just keep spinning it where I want to turn and I never have to let go of the stick but it's hard kind of needs practice also the analog thing that I mentioned so lightly pushed full pushed you don't even have to use a run button which I really like because you can kind of play one-handed then All right, all right. How do I trigger the, the secret angle? Is it in B scenario? Like the secret angle. There should be more zombies outside. I remember there was a thing. Okay, Brad. You can actually use the Z trigger of the N64 to to aim, to shoot I mean, 
which kind of makes it badass, like you're firing a pistol. I didn't count my bullets, so I could be fucked. You dead, bro? Oh, no. He takes a long time to die. Haha, <laughs> I lost his arm. You dead now? Yep. Here we go. Special key. Alright. Now that I've done that. Master these controls. <laughs> Jail, help! You gotta. <laughs> Let's go see Marvin. Oh, good. I'm actually getting used to this, which is gonna be fucking when I go back to tank controls. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man. Can you hear that? I can Ooh, like the surround who are sound. You? Oh, you must be the new guy, Leon. Cleon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been cancelled. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. In a yeah. mansion OG located Brad in Vickers. the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. Oh, dun, dun, dun. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. All this? <laughs> Hang in there. Don't worry about me. Nice. Just Didn't rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here. Take this key card. You should be able to unlock the I love this the dialogue. This. It is go. quite an improvement after RE1 where they just but got the lines without any context. Just go. And we're like, read these, which you can hear in the actors. <laughs> but I'm coming back for you. <laughs> just hold on. Here it's more like, you know, sounds like they're actually acting. Like it Sounds like they knew what the fuck was going on in the game. Oh, my left appendix. I'm fucking Leon Kennedy. I have two appendixes, appendices. So we need somewhere up close where you can see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. It's actually not even noticeable when the resolution changes, which is fucking amazing. Ink ribbon later. Let's do the key card thing. Door lock service. The only program we have on this computer. All side doors locked. The doors can be unlocked by a card key. Will you use the card key? Nah. Checking up ID card. Wait, card key or ID card? Make up your mind. It's one of the sound effects is noticeably different than on the PlayStation. Door unlocking. All side doors. Lock released. Thank you, friendly computer. With weird interface and shit. So, there's gonna be a liquor there now, huh? I could be positively fucked. All I wanted was this. An unopened locker somewhere. <laughs> no! <laughs> you think? <laughs> ah, fuck you controls. Heh <laughs> Leave that for now, leave that forever. Oh yeah, this is normal. Maybe I should have gone easy mode when I'm doing all this. 
weirdly backwards. Uh, four five four two. Not two two three six. Oh yeah, he can't even do that. So let's go get the shotgun first. Maybe a red herb. There's no red herb. There is there. Let me check the chat before I go on. Ah, I like that you people are chatty tonight. We see the thread. Whoa! Well, I can't see the start of that conversation, but uh, Sony did work with Nintendo on the Nintendo PlayStation, so... Uh, so, yeah, there was that as well. I don't know if that was the topic. It's hard to follow. Well, I'm trying to play play this fast, as fast as I can. Uh, yeah, it depends on the scenario and difficulty in this game. Um, gamut. It can be 2236, it can be 4542, it can be... Uh, I don't know if it can be anything else. Will I have enough ammo? No, because I didn't take the thing from Kendo. Will I go into danger? Possibly. Can I get to the door? I'll try. I didn't save. Why? I don't know. Oh, fuck. Just fuck them. Yeah. There we go. So now I'll try to survive this room and hope for a red herb or something and it will be good. I know there's a red herb. Whoa! Okay, yeah, that speeds things up quite a lot. Jesus Christ, guy, how many bullets do you need? Just leave one of them alive. Should be it. No! Wrong button. Don't bite, okay? I don't want any trouble. Bullets, please, bullets. Oh, da, 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 da. No, there was gonna be a... Oh yeah, there's a guy inside. Not now, later though. Ah! Come on, chase me. I know you want to. I don't have bullets to fuck around with you guy. Uh, well, he decides. Oh, really? Wait, doesn't it depend on all consoles uh, whether you start with Leon or Claire? Whether you're Leon A, Claire B? I thought the, I remember 4542 on the, on on the PlayStation as well, though I could be wrong. I know there are herbs here. Yes. Yes. No bullets yet. That's for the shotgun. Oh, this guy will have bullets. Yeah, I remember now. Hello, sir. I know you have some bullets for me. Yes. Oh, I never tried that, because, uh, well, they never released it, but also, that's a lot of green herbs, let's use these two in a mix. Go back to fine and dandy, right? No? Let's see if there's a red up there. Uh, I would have probably have to use an emulator, but I don't know. It's always 2236 on PS1 and DC. Oh, okay. I... Huh. I was sure it changes. Maybe it's a region thing as well. Maybe. I don't know. A foul thing. I don't know. But uh, I can't say for sure because, well, this is the version I played most recently and most times. So. So I truly don't know. Will there be a. I think this will only, one green will only bring me back to yellow caution, so whoop, there you go. Fine and dandy.
All right, with all that help, I can keep going. Oh, that guy is still inside. Fuck. Come on, guy. Can't open Kevin's desk here. One slot left. You know what? Let's make these two. All the weed. First day on the job already. Pocket full of weed. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Make sure to... Yep. Follow there. How do you do that? I'm gonna go here. This is so fucking janky! <laughs> this, this control scheme. 4542, was it? But no shotgun. Shotgun is upstairs. Was it? Okay, I got the map at least. Was the shotgun upstairs? I'm not sure, actually. Was something here? I don't know. Damn, Outbreak just skewed my uh, perspective of this game. <laughs> I expect things to be different. I have I have it stored. Played. What do you mean dolphin? Isn't dolphin the GameCube emulator? Cause you said the N64 version. Well shouldn't it be like PJ64 or something? I don't know, I, I, I'm not into emulations for the past ten or more years. Yeah, don't go there yet. Go across. We'll need that shotgun. Yeah, I'm, I'm now curious. I'm sure we can find it on the wiki or somewhere about the password. It's these little things. Like, no matter how many times you play these games, there's always something new popping up. Like I say, <laughs> there's a lot about Resident Evil 2 that people who played it are not aware of. Like, that... You know, the difference between... So, pistol, ammo, or shotgun, ammo. Yeah, sure. Uh, pack these up. And this one, just gonna bring this. Should be enough. If I'm smart, I should be able to go past the liquor. Now, this is on the D-pad. Oh, my. Nothing unusual here. Yeah, the herbs will be at the end of the... Oh my god, that, that uh, essay. Hold on. Let me read that. Nintendo was always expensive generations behind. Sega in near mid-90s started releasing nonsense systems and add-ons. There was also a lot of other companies who released hell expensive consoles. Next, no one bought or just extinguished fast on the market. Yeah. Sony 1995 released PS1 and pretty much revived gaming. Sega died in 2000 with Dreamcast and MS bought them out and made the Xbox. Nintendo then released GameCube 2, which wasn't popular. Yeah, it wasn't really popular. Though, it should be told, so both N64 and, uh, and uh, GameCube... So the N64 has a lot of more powerful aspects compared to PS1. If it had some kind of bigger storage, it would be, you know, even better. But they proved that you can make good games or on carts with quite a lot of ge excellent games that came out on those small... It's just how you program them, right? Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, GoldenEye, Perfect Dark... Fucking Resident Evil 2. Well, though it's the only game that has cutscenes, uh, like uh, full motion video cutscenes, but yeah. Uh, 
Well, it's GameCube. Both GameCube and Xbox were more powerful than the PS2. But the PS2 won out because, well, Sony. The PlayStation brand was already strong and it had a DVD player, so it was easy to to convince parents to get you a PlayStation if it has a DVD player. Unlike... Oh, goodbye, sir. Unlike, you know, buying a GameCube and or an Xbox. Which, like I said, comparatively were much more powerful machines. Which we talked about previously on this channel when we streamed Silent Hill 4 on Xbox, among other things, and Fahrenheit 2. Where you can see that those versions were ran much smoother with less um, what are they called uh, with less oh damn it brain the word oh wait there's something here I'm pretty sure no but there is inside with less compromises to make them work. Fahrenheit is very obvious, but so is um, so is Silent Hill 4, which runs like a dream. And I think the thing that hurts me personally the most in Europe for PS2 is that HDD uh, add-on was just dropped, which would have made a lot of games work better. Japan had it a lot, well, enough, US had very little support for it, a few games, and Europe had none, but we did have the Linux kit, though I don't remember, I don't know, it was, maybe it was in another, no, maybe that's, or maybe that's RE3, which I also played recently. Yeah, that's true. About mini discs. They wanted to prevent piracy, which yeah, all the console manufacturers did, but it's how you do it that can, you know, backfire, which in their case did backfire. Again, if we didn't have better, we would have never known. Oh, sir, we're too close. Huh. Okay, that's not good, please. Thank you. One, two. Some other sound, please, gentlemen. Dead? Yeah, he dead. Hello, goodbye. No, not that. Oh, there's a lot of green herbs here. Way more than I remember. No. Yeah, Game Boy was fucking magnificent. magnificent. There were color con pocket consoles, but GB was just the best. It, was, it just was. <laughs> There's also the thing about third-party support. Hey, I'm doing great. I'm not reading every file. Look at me, Ma. I can do this. Keep one weed if things become too hard. Oh yeah, let's unlock the special locker first ammo. Yeah. Alright, considering I didn't get any ammo from the start. Yes, I will. Okay, so what do we have here? Never did this on the N64. Two outfits. Yes. Let's try the left one. Please wait a minute. There's no reason for this or the door loading sequences or anything. Because the N64 loads... Oh, yeah. Loads uh, instantly. But, uh, oh, I have David type aiming. Look at that. David King prototype. 
Sideways holding pistol. Nobody does that, bro. <laughs> that doesn't work, but okay. <laughs> it would break her fucking <laughs> hand. <laughs> Let's try the, the other outfit. Yes. Try the other one. Yeah. What is this? This is a weird stars uniform. Huh, this is N64 exclusive, is it? Though, they're, they're both are, right, Gamut? It's been a while since I did costumes on the PS1, but I know that, like, the sideways holding one was different. Uh. You think? Which do you want, Gamut? The stars or the other one? Here, I'll do this for you, bro. Also, his turning stance is different. Note, notice that he's turning on his back leg, hind leg, I don't know, the one in the back, instead of, look. Carter thinks the other one is better. What do you think, Gamut? Yeah, the other one. All right. There's absolutely no reason for this, like, because on the PlayStation, this was used to mask the loading times while it loads, you know, the new costume. Oh, look at him. But yeah, one thing, another thing that's very, I'm just going to switch this briefly to the standard controls where, you know, you can do this. So, with this, with the analog stick, look, the harder you push it, the faster you turn. That's also exclusive for the N64 version. Because everywhere else, even with though their analog sticks, they still acted like a D-pad, like this. And, you know, same for walking. Lightly push, walk, hard push, run, if you use the stick. But yeah, we're doing this backwards, so back to the D control scheme. Yeah. Anything I want to pack in? No? I got everything I need to survive. It doesn't feel like a Resident Evil game when you play like this, I'm not gonna lie. It feels... awkward. I feel more in control with tank controls than with this. <laughs> okay, sir. Turn around. It's easier to dodge the zombies, though. I keep expecting Nemesis to pop up. Second floor, Chief's Office, Star's Library. Uh, Chief's office is on the other side of the building, but sure. Whatever gets you going, game. No enemies here, this is an RE3. Okay, gotta stop and then recalibrate the stick. So we get the second virgin heart right away. Uh, what was it? I think three pushes. Two, three. Or maybe three full. Oh, that was good. For a first controller with, uh, for the first controller with analog sticks or stick, uh, the, these sticks when they work, when they're not uh, worn out are so so good with sensitivity and you know they feel good when they're worn out they're fucked and <laughs> totally fucked but i managed to find over the years two controllers with near perfect sticks well this one was perfect because it was never even used so it really feels good you you feel more in control than on the ps sticks i will say that though the technology they used is akin to the... Oh shit, really? You never catch me, copper. Oh, you can shoot faster, actually. Cool. Sir? down 
How close is he? What do you think? Oh. Damn, it feels like the bullets are weaker with this costume. Or is it just me? Jesus Christ. Red herbs. Oh, no red herbs here. A spade is etched. So what I never noticed until recently, in RE3 even, you can see the handcuffs hanging down from the bench. Not not the ones above not the one above the bench, the, the ones like the leg ones, whatever they call leg leg cuffs, ankle cuffs. But yeah, they're not handcuffs, they're ankle cuffs. Star jawfish. <laughs> yeah, like this, uh, like shoot, phew, phew. <laughs> nothing suspicious around you. Do you want a sexy Weshki desk? Yeah, let's do it 50 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. I guess two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, oh, fifty already. Wow. I lost 10 in there. Yeah. Picture of all the SAS members. Ah, oh, Jesus fuck, Carter. Why would you do that, man? Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah, Game Boys are amazing. My fa my personal favorite is Game Boy Advance SP because it co like covers everything from black and white Game Boy to Game Boy Advance, and it has backlit screen. But uh, uh, the Model One Nintendo DS is also awesome. If it if it supported uh, older Game Boys beyond Game Boy Advance, it would have been the best Nintendo handheld that I played at least. But it doesn't. Let's see, backwards compatibility rules. <laughs> yeah, it does. I thought you meant like the fucking controller that I have. Hey, Gavin, that I have to hold backwards. Now, how the fuck do you even do this with a Nintendo 64 controller? Ah, and this control scheme. Uh, no ammo here. That's in RE3, I think. Oh, yeah, another thing about this version. So, this is interesting. Once it loads, the next screen, the transition between those two screens is instant. See, there's no stopping to load. But on the next screen, after that, it'll stop for a second to load. If you, so it always keeps the last screen buffered. Probably because of the expansion pack. Uh, to be honest, I only played this once without the expansion pack. And it was shitty, so I never did it again. Uh... So yeah, that none of that loading once you go, once you just keep circling the two, two screens. <laughs> is it though? <laughs> uh, is the shotgun here? Damn, I got mixed up. How do you even pull the Z trigger? There we go. No grain launcher or magnum, but. This works. There should be something in Webekashgashk. Webeka! Yeah. Oh, first aid spray. You know what? Not gonna use those, so fuck it. I need my inventory. Now, I don't know if it's in the second or first, an A or B scenario, but. So, remember I said this version has uh, extra files not present anywhere else? 
here i think we can even see it so yeah we got we got you know the three file books that are normal for all other versions and we got ex files i don't know i think that's supposed to be exclusive files or extra files i'm not sure basically these there's 16 of them, 8 in A and 8 in B scenario, and they connect RE2 to RE0, which was in development for N64 at the time, RE1, RE3, and even Code Veronica. Uh, they mention characters and events from those games. Well, not events from Code Veronica because it happens later, but you, for instance, one of the files I think we could have found at the, on the very first screen of the game was uh, Jill's Note, or we're going to find that one. I forgot. We're going to find at least a few of them in this run. And uh, it's an interesting tidbit because no other REs were released on the N64 at the time. The only one that was planned was Zero. So I think developers used that to like bridge the story for someone who never played Resident Evil. Any other. And uh, inclusion of RE uh, of RE Zero's files is funny because I think one of the oh, Jill's desk. One of the things that's different is they so they talk about the events from RE Zero as as written by Rebecca. That's why I know it's on Rebecca's table. It's Rebecca's report, but uh, Billy Cohen's name is spelled totally differently. It's like with a K or something like that. I don't know. I forgot. Yeah, that's what that's what it was actually developed for, N64, and then they switched it over to GameCube because they couldn't fit the game, Leon. and they didn't have Angel Studios or Factor Five to help. I think it's good to see this wouldn't be possible living. without Angel Studios' persistence. It looks like hey the zombie, welcome to the N64 Resident Evil Two. Oh yeah, I have juice. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors. Split up, yeah. Get out of here. I say split up. Yeah, but it was developed for right. the N64 first. Like it was developed for N64. Thing. Here's a radio. Right Take after it. RE1 was finished. So I that think even before RE2 began development, else. RE0 began development, but they had issues fitting the game on a cart. And uh oh. Fucking reverse Carter. <laughs> I can't believe what is happening to this city. Hold on, I need a second of normal normal controls. Cause I wanna check if Rebecca's report is on her desk. No. No, it's it's in B scenario, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. So Nobody was crazy enough to attempt this, but, you know, Angel Studios were like, you know what, we're fucking gonna do it. And everyone was like, you crazy, you're fucking crazy people. They were, no, nope, we're, we're gonna do it. We're definitely doing this. And they did it. So, where am I going? What did I get? The medal, yeah, let's go. It's not enough that I use these weird-ass controls, now I have to use the backwards, reverse... I can put my donut on this. My donut. On this middle prong while I'm waiting for the cutscenes. Z. A. It's easier with A. Ah! Ah! Sir, uh, no, no, no. Oh wait, I have a film to develop. Mm. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah! <laughs> Fucker, no backwards controls will stop me. Let's let's look at the Wesky film. What did Wesker have on this desker? Wesker desker. No, no, that's the metal. 
What do you mean I don't need to use it? This is the, the dark room, man. Use it in the dark room. I can develop film. Okay. There we go. Recruit. Why did he hide that? Why did he have it as an undeveloped film? That's the question I have. Why was it undeveloped? Like... What, what 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 are you supposed to think from this file? Like the way you have to get it, search the desk fifty times, and then you find this. What the fuck are you supposed to think? <laughs> Delmar, good to see you. Good to see you, Delmar. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Ah. Go on, you can do it, boy. <laughs> Okay, we will need the shotgun. I think it's time to for the liquor to say bye bye. Say hello to my little. F no, that's not Arnold, man. That's not how you do Tony Montana. Uh, fuck it, I'm not gonna get anything else. Okay, time's up. I know it's been it's, it hasn't been much action, so I extended the reverse Carter, but time's up. I want to play like a. Like a normal person <laughs> holding the controller like you do for the N64. Sir, sir, let's have a deal. You go around me, I'll go around you. Whee! Yep. This is something I recently found, like this, and that the other sign that you can actually read them. Oh shit, they're gonna try to grab my booty now. I remember because this part gave me a stroke many, many times. Don't grab my booty! Okay, bye bye. This is much easier to actually pass this hallway with tank controls. Oh, not my booty! He's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, ah, my booty! No! Oh, they're giving me a back rub. Nice, thank you guys. It's stressful here, I needed that. Ah, what a nice pair of zombies. Or how many of them there were. All right, trolley, trollosaurus. Okay, slowly now. Pull that stick like it's. I love how Leon keeps an eye on him. Like mm, I'm not letting you off my sight. Do we want to just avoid him and not kill him? Though he could twist my head off. <gasps> Ah, oh, charge! Run, 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 motherfucker, run! Whoo! Ah, cause Leon has a bigger butt, I think. They almost had my ass. I'm gonna use that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to kill him next time because it's just no use keeping him there. This was just a personal thing. So one, uh, da, da, da. yeah, let's do that. That, ah, uh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's the liquor sound like. Ah. And you just killed Rita. Rip Rita. It was nice knowing you. Zip. Yeah, I didn't notice it until like my fifth playthrough, probably because I was just fucking <laughs> terrified as a child to pass that guy. Uh, we're gonna find a red herb somewhere, Leon. Just hey, wait! Oh yeah, I did that. I am wearing a costume. I was like, I didn't kill the red zombie. This is the fastest I can play this.
So because liquors can hear, they can see. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Oh, that was easy. Fuck. Such a pushover. No way, I'm not leaving you behind. <laughs> Marvin, what about Marvin? <sighs> Patrol report, that's the same, but he, over here. Yeah, Jill's report should be here in ACE and if my memory serves me well. Here we go. File, uh, EX file 1 out of 16. You don't find him in sequence, so it's just an accident that this one turned out to be uh, like number 1 out of 16. Um... And interesting thing, they didn't create any new backgrounds for the uh, for these uh, EX files, so they used different files that already existed in the RE2 and RE3. And this is, I think, this is Dario Rosso's diary uh, background used. But nevertheless, here, I'll read these. Raccoon Forest. The following documents were obtained at a sanitarium owned by Umbrella Corp. Umbrella Bioorganic Weapon Publicity Material. And then development codes for all like Cerberus Hunter, Neptune, Tyrant, uh, yada yada yada. In addition to the above, it is believed that several other BOWs were created by means of accidental infection during the course of the test. It was discovered that the contagion is not limited to human beings and may pose a hazardous risk to plant and animal life forms. Effective means of controlling this contagion have yet to be found. Coon City Police Department stars off the team Jill Valentine. Well, there. I didn't even give her a voice. It's just Speedy, 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 game, 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 speedy, speedy. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, this way. Hell yeah. Alright, it's crank time. I can't do this like John, like he just fucking breezes through the game. As much as I try, I just, I, just, I don't have it in me to play these games fast. Square shape, sure. The only one that exists in the game. They maybe they wanted to have more cranks, like in RE1 and 3, but they never implemented them. Who knows? Well, nice zombie. Like I said, this is a shit shits and giggles run this time, but in the future, like in the future, after I'm done with Chrono games and then do a proper run of Eternal Darkness and his Requiem, I will do a whole Resident Evil marathon, and then we'll play this game with. You know, normal controls and Claire A, Leon B, and actually reading the files as is tradition on this channel. But for now, I'm just fucking around with this. What what the fuck is this? It's like I'm playing some other game. Because like un unlike Outbreak, where when you do this, they actually have a turning animation. This game never had that, not even like a quick turn. So they improvised, you know. You just appear on the other side. Am I here? No, I'm there. I'm here, I'm there, I'm here, I'm there. I'm out of this door. So spade, another door upstairs. You know what, this guy is going to be a thorn in my side for a while. So it's time for one of those old school poppity pop. Yeah, I love that. Oh, you can't skip cutscenes in, in the classic Resident Evil games. You can skip uh, you can skip FMV cutscenes, but uh, like any are we gonna use that right away? Any uh, in-game cutscenes are unskippable. Yeah, that's actually all I need, right? Void. Actually, yeah, fuck it. I'll bring the shells. I'm not fucking around with these guys. I'm gonna use the key. Yeah, in RE3 you can. That's the first time they uh, they uh, introduced cutscene skipping in, in a classic RE. You use the map button, I think, or, old, or select. I forgot, was it the map button or the select button? L2 or select to skip them? But uh, RE1 and RE2, you can't do that. Which, I never minded, because, well, like she said, we don't skip cutscenes on this channel, except tonight. Well, actually, no, we're not. We're skipping a lot of game, but not the cutscenes. Because I want to hear everyone talking like, 
like Sherry and Oslo, or also like Sean Connery from time to time. Do, do, do. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, now this is a good place to use. Haha, <laughs> gamut. This is a good place to use the shotgun. How do you shoot five zombies at once? You gotta use the shotgun. Use the shotgun. Please don't detach. Don't detach your body for me. Oh yeah, this is not... You all dead? Are you all dead? Can I go? I did it. Oh, I'm so proud. Two shells and two bullets. Can I find any bullets here? Holy shit, that's a lot. Doesn't look like I can pass through here. Oh dear. Do not. Do not fucking explore. Oh, 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 oh. Click, click. Motherfuckers. I wanna make a game with only annoying features. Cuts and skip when pressing pause, but only for the first time. Afterwards, they're unskippable. <laughs> that would be really annoying. File 16 out of 16, Raccoon City Pamphlet. City Guide number 12, a brief look. Hello and welcome to Raccoon City. As you will notice, our city is a clean and private town. Dedicated to families. Raccoon City has partnered with our friends at Umbrella Inc. in order to generate unprecedented growth and stability. <laughs> Fuck you, Carter! Eat my ass! <laughs> Umbrella Inc. is a highly regarded and well-funded corporation that cares about its employees. They have helped to create many public facilities to make the city a safer place for everyone. As we look to the future, I will continue to support Umbrella Inc. in terms of new business development hands. Please enjoy your stay in my lovely city. Thank you, Michael Warren, and Raccoon City Mayor. Skibbity boobity bop. <laughs> oh, oh my head! Why did I fall down this rotten police station? Why did I even look at the picture? It's not like I haven't done this 50 fucking million times. Oh my god, he wants me to take a piss. I don't know if it's a new file gamut. How many sips do I need to take? Hold on a second. Two, four, six. Ah, oh, damn. Here we go. <laughs> Glad you think so. There's some unbelievers here, Gavin. Unbelievers. <laughs> I will have to take an unscheduled bathroom break because Carter really wants me to go to the bathroom. Maybe he wants me to become a bathroom singer. Oh my god, I'm starting to sound like a Serbian priest. Almost, I just need to sing in a deeper voice And then to end everything with the weird intonation Combination Here we go <laughs> More water for me
Yeah, kind of. We're, um, we're, um, Orthodox Christians, so, you know, liturgies and singing is different. They have a specific tone about them. It's different than in Catholic countries. Use this right away. Square Creek. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it gets too abused, we just put a a cooldown on it. Problem solved. Kitty, I need to reshuffle my legs. It's been a while. Please don't claw. I still love you. I have to move. I'm alive. She immediately goes into panic mode, just like <laughs> claws onto my legs. Down the stairs. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, sir. I got a one. Can I? Yeah, I can. Ha! Ha! Asshole. They all disappeared. Well, the letter is lowering their their own vacation. Now this is these are regions where where the resolution changes depending on how many zombies are on the screen. No, the guy next to you, Leon, the guy right next to you, that guy. Bleed out, motherfucker. Here we go. Alright, zombie, I'm in the waiting room. Pass me the... 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 the, the emerald plate. <laughs> Okay, we got the bishop log. We're gonna need these. Can I even enter there? Oh yeah, I can't yet. That's right. Uh, do I even want to carry that? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. What is this? Ah, a small key. A schmuck key. Where do I want to use it first? For the Handgun parts, right, right. Do I want to go there now? Yes, yes I do. Oh yeah, zombie, I saw it earlier, just lots going on. Yeah, I'm also sad I can't play Outbreak, but I will make the best of it. There will come a day when I have good internet again, well... A static IP at least. Oops. Alright, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. Does it even pay off to have Matilda with these parts? Also, I want to see, I'm not sure if it's like in later games where you, when you combine it, you get full ammo, so I'll try to use up some ammo and then combine it. Ding dong. Ding dong. Hello sir, bye sir. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm, I'm actually getting in touch with these controls. It's a little backwards. Believe it or not, there at the end I was holding right, not left, but yeah. So still 13. Ink ribbon, secretary's diary. Probably be a good idea to use one of these soon. Since a lot can happen playing like this. Oh, sirs, please. I'm pretty sure they'll disappear after I do the valve thingy, but we'll see. Oh, whoa, wait. Where's the other one? There we go. Pop, pop. He's been packed to death. Right, we're getting some ammo. Get ready for boss. Do it. Do it. The scary door. Ka ka. Oh, now trying to avoid these guys down there. Well, what am I complaining? At least I can quick turn. <sighs> Shoot. At least I can quick turn compared to the, you know, original controls. Oh. Woo! Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> Fucking. I'm faster than you assholes. Hey, kitty. Scary shit, isn't it? Ow! Ow! Oh, you're all here to embarrass me. Which is okay. I don't mind. Age gun bullets. Hydro gun. Hipster gun. Hippie gun. It's a hippie gun. Valve handle. Obtained. Now the true scary door. One of the really cool moments in RE2. The, the one and only scary door. Yeah. Pardon me, I can't even walk. So, good thing they're slow. Imagine if they ran, like sprinted in like an outbreak. It would be... It would be really fucking scary. Uh, no, Sasha's playing uh, with nephews. That's why she couldn't be here tonight. Woohoo! 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 Yeah. Alright. You don't even have to kill them. See, as a kid, I thought I have had to kill everything that moves to be safe. And even when you do that in this game, if you do it properly, you're never gonna run out of ammo. But by the end of the game, you have over a hundred pistol bullets. And so many times, they don't even use the shotgun. Until the end game, I'm like, fuck, I could have had some fun with this gun. With this shotgun. No, it's not. So, uh, Carter, something happened uh, last week when uh, A1 Mobile was uh, improving their network. They changed the IP switch schedule to four every four hours, so I just... I stopped following it. I know it switched just before stream. And... Uh, but the other thing that happened, they I think they you strengthened their firewall even more. So what I'm on, like many mobile networks, I'm on CG NAT, carrier grade NAT, native ad address translation, uh, which means that, well, basically it's like having a router on at the ISP level and then a router in your home. So many things don't work properly, and now the only mo uh, or mobile online games that I care to play. Resident Evil Outbreak, well, I haven't even tried Resistance really, uh, but I know Outbreak doesn't work with this, it, I just desync, which means after a few minutes of play, everybody dies for me, 
and it's like I play solo. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus Christ, it's so hard with these controls! Alright, that worked. Anybody else? Any other crows? So it's like everybody can see me normally in the game, but they all die for me and. Oh, huh, nothing. And uh, I effectively can't play, which is really sad because it's the only game I actually care to play. Again, aside from Resistance, but I haven't even tried Resistance because this was like really defeating. Online game I care to play, I'm sorry. But, who knows, maybe sometime soon Supernova extends their optical cable whole 500 meters to my house. Did I unlock this? Yeah, I did. And we don't have these issues, but until that day comes, I'm just gonna make the best out of the situation. Stream single player games. There's a lot of them. Really good games that I enjoy playing. Go off the schedule. Go, go Maverick. Yeah, they're gone. Nope, they're not gone. Sir, one, two, three, four. So let's check now. Can I do that? Yeah! Ha ha! Ha ha ha, sir. So now the costume doesn't really matter, because... Because we can actually shoot very fast with the Matilda. Jesus Christ, that scared me. I was like, what the fuck with the chopper? I just... <laughs> it's down. It's not moving. <laughs> I'm not used to having this in my headphones. Hey, Wesky, welcome to the stream. Welcome, Simon. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> oh, thank you, Wesky. Thank you for the sub there. Oh, welcome, everyone, to Resident Evil 2 on the N64 with the weirdest control scheme. Hold on, before I go with all that... We're gonna do a shout out for Professor Wesker of Wesker Show 1234. Huh. Zoop! What are you doing today? Resistance, La Resistance. Oh, how, was, how were the matches, Resky? Look, look what I can do in this Resident Evil. You can play with the outbreak controls, which is what this playthrough is all about. I'm okay, man. I'm okay. I rested a bit over the weekend, did some housework, and now I'm fine and dandy, just like Leonie's after a few herbs. Will I have space for everything? Actually, no. I'm gonna pick up what I can and then come back for... There should be an ink ribbon. Yeah. That's in B scenario, was it? Precinct key. Ah, uh, is it gonna fall from the sky? No, that's again in the B scenario. I have everything mixed up now. Good, your matches? Yeah, it's RE2 on the N64. On the Nintendo 64 with exclusive features. So, since we'll be doing a Resident Evil marathon in about a month month or something. Tonight I couldn't stream Chrono Trigger because my wife is socializing with my nephews and uh, she wasn't here and I can't stream that without her around. So I decided to do this out of the blue. Well, not out of the blue. I put it on the schedule yesterday, I think. But still, it wasn't planned. Uh, la, 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 la. And... Hold on, hold on. Diamond key will not be used here yet. And I decided to do it in a way that I never did before. With these controls. So instead of standard tank controls, I'm using these. Because you can use the analog stick or the D-pad to play it like Outbreak. 
all survivors were eliminated. <laughs> I believe they were, Wesky. You, you angel mastermind, you. I was just saying five minutes ago, unless how I miss. I got further internet issues for the games like this, so um, I couldn't. I can't play Outbreak or Resistance now, and that's really sad. So we're gonna do the best we can with what we can until something changes. I can at least still stream, so that's something. Click, click. Woohoo! Liquor falls in scenario B, right? I'm pretty sure. Jesus, that angle and all is <laughs> lurking above my head. Yeah, okay. So Claire's gonna have to deal with that. I'm kind of unfamiliar with Leon A, Claire B. That's another backwards team that I'm doing. Because, well, I mostly play Claire, Claire B, Leon A. And more recently. So this is all a little shuffled. Blah. So we don't need the king plug now either, but we do need that. Now let's remember what we need to do. I do have a map, so map will tell me which key goes where. Because this is... oh wait, because this is uh, not Monty Python's Flying Circus, but... Right! So now... Now interrogation room and Western office. All right, where where to go first? Let's go interrogation room first. Yeah, I'll bring this because I'm gonna need it for the for the mob that's in front of the Eastern office. Yeah, it's an N64 exclusive. I'm trying to do as more as many weird things in this stream as possible so that's one of the things to the uh, the exclusive costume it has two exclusive costumes and the audience has voted for this one the other one is a full-on stars uniform very similar to what jill wears i think as an alternate costume in re1 remake and this version also connects has special files that connect connected to Resident Evil Zero, which was then being developed for N64, uh, Resident Evil 1, 3, and even Code Veronica. There's mentions of Ashford and stuff like that. Let's pass the guy. Oh, yeah, there should be a file, another EX file here. There it is, I think I see it. Come on. There we go, David's letter. So this is, this is the same file from RE3. That's just copy pasted into this game and into, into this version. I think it is, right? Let me check. Actually, I didn't even read it, I just scrolled through it. Jill's report, CD pamphlet, David's letter. I sent it to the sand, blah blah blah. Oh, you another band yesterday. Yeah, you find this file in actually in RE3. I think we're all uh, in the bus, the file that I missed, because I wanted to unlock the costumes. I didn't take it. Would be, uh, I think that file would uh, be Dario's diary. All right, who's first? You there. Oh, good spread, good spread. One more shot. Now nah, let's go to. Oh shit! One more shot, just for good measure. Anyone alive? Yeah, the original trilogy. I agree with that, man. I adore those games. They're never too. They're they're, they're they're never too much to play. 
and put them up anytime. Nothing is wrong. Really, really fun games to play. That guy's dead. Oh. Ma'am, ma'am, please get down, get down again. Okay, Eileen, I'm coming. I hope your back is as red as I remember it. Down, boy. There's a red here. Yeah, there it is. Come on. Will I have enough space for everything? Are you six during the marathon, zombie? <laughs> you know, six is my favorite over the shoulder Resident Evil. Journalist's note This is also an EX file. As I write this, my hands shake with both anger and fear. The civilians of their town have been blockaded by the military. Haha, -ha, I'll break. And though I sigh for the survivors of the town, I still feel that it's the best decision. They cannot take the chance of the disease spreading any further. I'm going to make it my top priority to discover what has caused this incredibly dangerous incident. So far, I have only found out that the disease is not airborne. It's kind of the abridged version of a document from RE3. Anything else in this room? Mercenaries, yeah, I never played those extra modes. So yeah, that I've seen that in, on your channel actually, Wesky, playing mercenaries. Um, in RE6. Oh, there we go. I knew there was something here. Because I never took the time. The only merc, the only extra mode I've ever played in RE was the mercenaries in RE3, and that always pisses me off because I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Why is it so fucking hard? It's not hard, you just gotta practice. The last time I did it, it was a lot easier, but still. Shit, I gotta pack some of this shit in. Into an item box. I will... I'm getting used to these controls, it's so... It's... Oh! Mammoth! Hello! Welcome to the stream! Good to see you! But yeah, since Zombie asked, yeah, I, I actually, of all the of 4, 5, 6 over the shoulder Resident Evils, my personal favorite is 6, which I can't believe. I avoided that game for 8 years, I think. 2013 to 2020. Or 2021, even. Yeah, 2021. 8 years I avoided that game. Because I've heard from everyone that it's just a shit game. But then when I finally played it, I was like, holy shit, I like this more than 4 and 5 together. Because I don't feel like I'm paralyzed. I can move around. No! Uh, I can move around. I can dodge. I can do all this shit. So, you know, because it always annoyed me. Everyone's glorifying RE4. And uh, yeah, of course, everybody has right to their own opinion, of course. But, you know, it's always the one that's been that's glorified as, you know, this pinnacle of Resident Evil. which just... You're as paralyzed as you are in any of these games, except it expects much more from you. And it, that's not just, you know, it's a fun game to play, but it wouldn't be my, be my top choice, and I don't see it as a Resident Evil. I don't see 6 much as Resident Evil either, but it feels more in line with what it's, you know, with the presentation. Because, you know, I can dodge sideways, I can I can jump and avoid attack, I can crawl on my ass if I want to, you know, all that stuff. It just You just feel more in control, so it 
to me it falls better in line with what the game has you do so i do want to go westward wait 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 wait. i'm leon i'm not even gonna need the eastern hallway right i just go there once and that's it Nightmare Underbelly, jeez. Yeah, Mammoth, we were just talking earlier. Um, my internet got even worse. You were with us in the game yesterday. You saw what happened. You and the other person quit. Because by the time I noticed I desynced, Zombie told me you guys can't pick anything up. I was like, let me just solve the... You know, let me just do the, the Valve. And then I'll quit so you guys can play. But it was too late. You guys already quit. Because I understand the frustration of not being able to do anything, and that's gonna happen in every game I try now. Outbreak Online, so... I just gave up for the time being. I'll try from time to time to see if it'll work, but... No... No high hopes, really. Did I leave any room? Yeah, I did, okay. Because we're gonna get liquored. Which I think I can totally dodge. That's what I came in for, primarily, but also it's the magic mirror from the other side. So from this side it's a mirror. I didn't know what that was until this game. From this side it's a mirror, from the other side it's see-through. Okay. <gasps> Surprise, motherfucker! Ah, no! Fucking camera, no! <laughs> I mean, controls! Oh, he didn't lick, he just scratched, so that's okay. A green? Yeah, I just need normal green. <laughs> Liquor, please. Oh. It's like he's holding his boob from falling off. So what else can we do? We can go through Western Office, meet up with Mr. Marvin. Marvin! And uh... Die, please! Something there. <laughs> Marvin! Hey, love. How's your game? What did they do? They updated Left 4 Dead again? Again? How dare they? Those cheeky bastards. Whoop! Smokey smoke. So, being Leon, which one do I want to cut? Because I know when I, once I get to one of these, will short out. I forgot actually. Which one's better to, to fix as Leon? East or West? Because the thing is, right, at one point in the game, zombies will try to go in through the windows, and you can only block up one window. Yeah, Gamut, she's home. She's playing Left 4 Dead with my nephews uh, right now. Uh, you're being missed. What is that, a reference to the room? <laughs> she loves you like a human being. Um, east side, huh? Yeah, me too, I think, because we won't need to use this hallway once I go through. So yeah, that's that's. I think I left it in the box. No, I didn't. I, I meant to left, leave it in the box for when we head towards the east side. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I know it. I know it comes back in B scenario uh, to bite you in the ass anyway, because the one you you fix actually shorts out. So it doesn't really matter by the time you reach B, where you you needed more, it's already fucked. Yeah, in the east you only have the one first floor hallway to reach the parking. I don't think it even matters with Leon because once you collect the final ro final plug in the attic, 
you just jump down the chute and you're you're there you know you don't even have to go through the police station anymore <laughs> bro don't make fun of my english you don't make fun you make sad <laughs> all right so we got this shot i think shotgun will be okay if there are assholes inside i can't really remember if there are assholes inside <laughs> comrade sister we go we win the world oh shit there are assholes inside so that's not our thing. Ah, I, I, don't you just love it when they detach? No, the, the biter, the biter. Ah! Okay, shotgun has to work again. Oh, come on, dude. Like, keep your torso on. All right. We're more in control now. Mm. I was almost sure that's gonna be like an RE3 thing. You all dead? There's another guy here, yep. Oh yeah, it's changing resolutions right now. Clippity clip. Sir? Get down! Another film? Another film. Ah. More shells? Yes, thank you. Shells are always welcome. And this one I don't think you can, yeah. That's for Claire and Jill only. Phew! It is a nice Matilda. I made it myself. I found the parts. I slipped them in. What about Marvin? Oh no, Marvin. Why, Marvin? I loved you. Let's check the room first before we go visit Comrade Marvin. Memo to Leon. To Leon S. Kennedy, congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to having you as a part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at the RPD. Weehoo! You got your party sucks, guys. So are we gonna we're gonna decapitate Marvin? That's the best thing you can do. He already decapitated the zombie, so it's only fair. <laughs> well, remember when he said in Outbreak, I'm still alive? Ah! You bitch! That was a fast bite, sir. I should have used my quick turn ability. Could have left him alive, like Gamut said, for scenario B. But we'll do that in the next playthrough. Sorry, Marvin. Check. It's in the shape of a heart. Nothing else here. Oh, I still can't tell wh what you find in this place in RE2 and what you find in RE3. Wait, we got the heart key, so we now we go east. Die, okay. please! <laughs> That's right. Before we do that, no kitty, you don't play with the controller. Before we do that, I'm gonna take uh, a very short break, because I really need to go to the bathroom. Down, uh, Carter's down. revenge paid off. I'm actually not even gonna go to the pause screen, I'm just gonna leave this. So listen to the main hall music. I'll be back in two minutes or so.
All right, here we go. So we are now getting used to the camera and the microphone without the second of lag that Elgato needs. Uh, yeah. We go East Hall. Comrade Leon, let's go. Wait a minute, I need a chest, right? Fuck, I didn't develop the film. Never mind, I'll go back there later. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Wesky. Ding dong, ding dong. So, let's load the shotgun, pack the rest of the ammo. Switch to D-pad. That, we're gonna leave that for later too. Bring that. Yeah, we're good. We're gonna find a shit ton of herbs in that hallway, I remember that much. I, did, I think that's also the same on, on Leon and Claire playthroughs, but... Oh, this is a good practice. Playing the unplayed scenario. Bullet. Click clock. The music had like two seconds of runtime and it was done. Alright, Wesky, thanks for dropping by and thank you for the raid. Have a good night. Sleep well. I'll see you soon, my man. Alright, Simon. Good night, good night, Asia. It's pretty late over there, like 2.30, 3.30? Yeah, sweet. They call me Weedy. Yeah, that's gonna be in B scenario then. When they all rush in here, no matter what you do, they're gonna end up here. We've gotta love these N64 vibrations. The cord will show out soon. See, the game even tells you, like, warns you about it. You're gonna get fucked soon. A club is etched. Now one of them will be stuck there forever, if it's... Yes, until I peek out of here, it's gonna be stuck there forever. Yeah, high frames. I was like, why am I not shooting multiple times? Oh yeah, that's outbreak. Jesus Christ, I thought I was fucked. Woo-wee! I would never be able to do that with the other control. Okay, stop it. It's not good. They, these guys can actually kill me easy. They're really... Yep. They can really kill you easy. They, their bite is worse than the, than any zombie. Even on easy mode, they can really slaughter you with ease. Just... So, let's go here first. That's not Leon's route, so but I'll go there regardless, because... Why not? Actually... Is there anything down there for him? I don't think there's anything down there for him. So I'm just gonna grab this red herb and then come back. I don't think there's a reason for him. I don't think there's even an incriminate. Even if there is, I don't need it. 
Like this is not your regular Keep it Tesla playthrough, so fuck that. This is where Clara needs to go for Lyubitsa's favorite cutscene. No, I won't. But Leon, Leon has a different partner. The same on PSX? What is the same on PSX? Zamboni. Wait, I remember there was something here last time I played. Maybe, maybe... Maybe on B scenario? Who knows? No, I won't. No. <laughs> uh, that, like, in the same cutscene you get that and you get Claire's <laughs> very awkward voice acting. Up. Up, up and away. Up, up. Down. Down. Up. Bling. After the beep, leave the message. Uh, hello there, the door is unlocked. Oh cool, I can smoke this one solitary weed. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I don't have chipped PSD. I did uh, try that on an emulator a long time ago, but I don't have access to a chipped PS1 because uh, well, one of the things on this channel is we try to run, try we tr we run everything. We don't condone piracy, so uh, all the PS1s I have all, I have three PS2s. They're all unchipped, and it was really hard to find those because you know how it is in Serbia. Try to find an unchipped PS2. Lucky thing was that, uh, well, because it's Serbia, <laughs> people were selling them pretty dirt cheap, because they're like, yeah, it's not chipped. I'm like, ah, oh, too bad, too bad. And inside, I'm like, hmm, cool. <laughs> That's what I need. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the attempts, though. Thank you for trying to do that. I really appreciate it. Oh, shit. The dogs, all right, all right. Yeah, they are. They are vicious. I didn't notice that as a kid, because... Up until recently, I killed them very patiently. Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Zombie? Who are you? The question is, why don't I have five or ten of them, Lupka? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for Sorry some guy about named that. Ben. He's one of those reporters. That's the line of this game. Oh, Sorry about that. I heard he was locked up in the cell block. Only there's a red Come car on, barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. Sorry about that, babe. If we work together, we can move this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is deadware. That's true. I mean, I just meant to say, well, I could borrow a chip PS2 for my friend. But for now, I didn't. I, I had no near plans to play those, but I would. If people want to see them, why not? I would give them a try. I would like to try the N64 prototype on... Um, once I get an EverDrive to try it on an actual console. Mm -hmm. Because that would be awesome. You know how it is, uh, like, emulating this on Project 64, whereas the last thing I tried is just... Ugh! <laughs> Good luck. Even with... Even fiddling with settings for hours, you never get... Because of the, of the N64's... Ada, wait! Ada, wait! <laughs> the second line of this game. Ada, wait! Uh... So let's go here first. Right? Yeah. I don't know how she gets there after me, but never mind, just go with it. 
Yeah, you mentioned earlier, sorry, I didn't read that message totally. So Dolphin can emulate N64? I didn't know about that, actually. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Why does he look a little Get like up, Sarah Connor? Now. And he... Ooh, I still have some juice left. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Okay, I didn't know that. Last time I tried Dolphin, like six, seven years ago, I'm pretty sure I only did GameCube and Wii. You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't Useful you? Useful to me for like... What did you tell them? Games from other regions. And who the heck are you? Because I need to test them on something before I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working a for a branch US office umbrella based GameCube. in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? It's just a thing, Drosaurus. Okay, so, I say we leave him You know there. how it is growing Does up here. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I used to think, like, until I was 16, 17. I have it right even, here, officer. That, you know, video but games are distributed. Like, some cell. guy makes them or some guys make them and just burn those them on a CDR and they the distribute them. Because that's how there. it was in all those PlayStation game rooms. Like, you know, Sony clubs. Who and, was uh, that? <laughs> uh... I think it was, I was like, like I about said, 16 when I'm I first saw a game in a box, like actual legit game. I was like, oh, fuck shit, this makes more right sense. <laughs> but, uh, hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. I think my first, yeah, f with my first what? salary, I bought a Quake 4 for PC. Look, if you want to live, and, then you're uh, going to have to leave with me. It was a big. But do you even know personal how to get win, out of I'm going to say? Getting all this. In the back of the building. Because, you know, Game Boy... Go through and it'll lead you to the I think, yeah, entrance, the only Nintendo console I had back then was Game, Game Boy Carts. They were so-so. I started right, noticing some I'm of going. them are different. You know, the repro carts. The bootlegs. But as a kid, I didn't know what that meant up until... About that point when I found out that... No, games are not distributed on CDRs by people who make them. You actually have to... You know, it, there's a difference between uh, legal, I don't know what the term is, game, and one burned, and there's a difference. Like, everybody would be like, do you have, is your PS1 chipped, is your PS2 chipped? And I thought that's a normal thing, you have to buy a PlayStation, then you have to chip it. How else are you going to play games? You have to have an NPAL conver converter, because... That's what everybody had. Everywhere. Hmm, there's a red herb there. But it's gonna set the doggos free. You know what? Let him come. Wait, there should be more bullets here. Or was that an outbreak too? Yeah, that was also an outbreak. And then... Sometime after I started earning my own cash, I started making this... Yeah! collection oh there's two of them can I do this it's pretty easy once they're in a line All right. So yeah, but around that time, the point of this long and wind, winding story is that around that time, I started trading. Uh, the chip started trading. I had I think two back then, uh, chipped PS twos, and I traded them in for non-chipped ones. So one of them right now to answer your question, Lupka. One of them has a, uh, a not-so-good laser, so two fat models, one slim. One of them has a not-so-good laser, uh, 
Well, can I do this? Yeah, I can. Why wouldn't I be able to? Oh shit, no I can't. Am I poisoned? Yeah, I am poisoned. So maybe I should kill him. I know I can pass him without getting myself killed, but why would I really? Oh, he's dead. God knows how long. Where are you, motherfucker? Oh shit, he's gonna be above me, is he? Come on. Yep! What now? Stalemate? Why did I have to do this differently than I'm used to? Dead Jim. Okay. Jesus, that was so unnecessary. <laughs> I find it easier to skip them with, uh, um, with tank controls, really, because this can go both ways. But yeah, so one fat model has its laser is getting worn out. So for that one, I use the hard drive, open PS2 loader, OPL, and uh, I use it for games like Outbreak and some games which for which discs are pretty much scratched, hard to load. The other one has a better laser, so that one doesn't have a hard drive in it, and um, I use it with well other games. You know what, just dump this, dump that, and then dump that, and then dump that, and that, and also dump that. Cool, shotgun shells are growing, though pistol bullets are... Eh, maybe it's a good time to save with Ada and this angle. I, I've just realized I haven't saved the whole time, so... Um, I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm gonna do a no save run once, but like not this time. Uh, that's right over these, I guess. Leon A, Claire B. I guess this is to load and continue. I don't know why you can save Leon A scenario first. What's the purpose of that? Do you keep something? Do you get something? I should probably... I should probably research that. So let's put them on 12. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You don't need a memory card. You have all the room you, you need for just this one game. That's a bonus, actually. Because it's just this one game. It's probably better something to do in the in the in Discord because the on the video links will be unclickable if you know what I mean. Hold on, gotta bring the plugs. Yeah, links will be unclickable, and uh, in in like in the video itself. Uh, film. Yeah, plugs, plugs, plugs is what I need. Plugs. Plugs. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Trollsaurus. Ah. And that's all the juice we have. Bishop King. And the other guy. I forgot what that was. I already forgot which one I put. Rook, I guess. Pawn, Rook, Queen. Knight, Knight. Maybe Knight. Yeah. Ada? What the fuck are you doing in Septic Pool, Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. 
My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. She's like, who gives a shit? <laughs> it's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Shaft? Give what shaft? Boost. I'll go and check. Why don't you give me a boost? Go inside the shaft, Ada. It's a big shaft. Whoops. Right. Oh god, now I'm trying to survive the doggos with her. Cerberus. Wait. Hold on. Cerberus or zombies? With chariots, zombies. I have. Yeah, I can kill these guys. I can totally kill them. Keep an eye on the. Yeah. Eight bullets, okay. Shit. Three bullets left. Two bullets left. There you go. Yeah, this is where with Sherry this could be problematic. Gotta love that surround sound, how it changes where you go. And that's it. She doesn't find anything else here, no? This is where Sherry's gonna go. Up, up, and away! <laughs> if you don't let go of the stick after the camera changes, it can go either way. It's best to spin it to keep your direction, but it's still weird. Even if like you let it go during a transition, it doesn't count. You gotta let go fully once you're in con control of the game. No, 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 no. Why did I press the Z trigger? Eh. Unlike Sherry, Ada can climb instantly. Doesn't have those random moments of falling off the box. <laughs> well, you think Legacy of Kane invented the cube puzzles? Nah. I actually can't remember which the 3D game started it for. I'm gonna say Resident Evil, because which Resident Evil won. Because by the time Ocarina of Time came out, there was already two Resident Evil games. Club. It's a club. <laughs> Didn't know you were a prominent figure in game development, sis. Well, that explains all my obsession with these things. XDR, 10A. Anything written there? No, just the door. I, did, I wasn't even looking at the door. I was trying to read that sign. Here, I mean Asia. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. 
Think fast. Here's one more. Oh, my eye! <laughs> hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. You catch up with me later? Are you sure? What? Ada, wait! Come on, Leon, it's right there. Alright, we're doing good with shells. Even though I splurged. And seriously, after Outbreak and the remakes, this game is not that hard. No problem, Trollsaurus. I'm pretty sure most of these guys in the server played it, but we're 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 gonna just uh, what am I trying to say? Make it easier to get to obtain. Yes. Nothing else there, nothing we need. Oh wait, there's gonna be liquors, aren't there? Ah, I have five shells. I'll find more. I should have brought some health though, that was stupid of me. Nope, there's gonna be a green herb there. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be liquors on my way back. Did I get a blue here? Oh yeah, there was a blue in the other one. Was there though, or did I dream that up? I think that's the one I spent with the spider. Nothing here. No. Ben has a blue and a green. I'm gonna nab that from him. Well, not Ben. Where are they, their name Zombie? Uh, Nathan and the other guy. At least their cell. They're somehow released. I guess they escaped with the others. Ben didn't want to go. Nathan and... Damn, I forgot the other guy's name. Uh, fucking use... Nah, not gonna need it here. If my memory serves me well, I'm not going to need the blues. At least not as many. Whoop. So many cars, can't drive any of them. If my memory serves me well, wheels on fire, rolling down the road, just now and then. Sir, why are you still alive for the level fuck? Alright. Like, I'm not sure if they can detach your heads when you're on... On yellow, like hunters, so I'm not gonna risk it. Alright. Someone's head fell off, and it wasn't mine. Good, good. Yup. Yup. Wait, which yup? They can decapitate you when you're on yellow? Yeah, then good thing I did that. 
Oops. Wait, was there a file here? I think there was another EX file, but... No, not here. I'll just fucking run. It's okay, sir. I'm not gonna fight. I'm a peaceful police officer. Woo! Yeah, you can just skip them all. Cool. I think that's a first for me. Not killing them all. I got bitten from the back and I'm still in fine. Red card key. Still red card key. But you gotta use it manually. Hello. <laughs> I always hear those old answering machines from that sound. After the beep, please leave a message. Yes, shells. Yes, bullets. Mm, outside mix. Right, we're gonna leave these two for clear. So I'm not gonna touch that. It's gonna be way more useful in her scenario. Both the machine gun and the pack. Although, ah, leave them both for Claire. Because, yeah, she'll have great launcher and the thing. Ah, just leave it there. Don't think about it. And then, upstairs. No David box here, though. Even the angle doesn't let you see that wall. Another club key. Oh yeah, there's no tyrant in a scenario in OGRE2. It's the way it should be. Tyrant is reserved for the B scenario. When things get more fucky. There's Kevin's locker. Damn, the game is less stingy with the shells than I remember. Which means it's gonna be really easy flying. Watchman's Diary, we'll read that in a proper run. Magnum. Desert Eagle. Right? Yeah. I am I, Israel. I am I. <laughs> I never read that out loud. What's that? International military something. Oh, really? Some people who have never seen the, the answering machine? I didn't know that. Because we had that in our house since... Since I've known, S uh, since I I've been aware, so yeah, I do see outbreak everywhere. That is true. So how? What's the f quicker way to get to the? Believe it or not, it's quicker to get to the item box from. from the hallway because there's less doors I think I think or no did I just fuck up nah it doesn't matter I'll be there in a shippy oh fuck there are liquors up the stairs now right oh I can believe that zombie yeah remember I counted this once when I wanted to actually play fast so it's one two three four five doors this way you got one, two, three doors. Yeah, this is the faster way. Will I ever get used to these controls? I just don't have that feeling of being in control like I do with tank controls. Even though te technically this should be easier. 
Woohoo! Woo! Can I outrun the liquor? We'll find out. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ah, very ballsy in this run. I, I, I just thought, you know what, I saved. I saved way earlier than I usually save, so fuck it. Okay, now I have room for whatever. We gotta get the cog over there, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna go through multiple doors, so I don't have to kiss that liquor on the nose. So I'll have plenty of shells for for what's coming ahead. It's like, like I said, it's way easier than than I expected it to be. Unlike RE3 on hard mode, man, I've been practicing practicing that recently because I played that game on easy mode my whole life until like two years ago when I learned that you know hard mode is normal. <laughs> And you can get extra weapons by killing Nemesis. Which is funny, I think I beat RE3 most times. Up until a certain point. Always on easy mode, right? I thought that was normal. And then a few years ago my friend tells me, No. That's actually easy. Hard is normal. Neither of those makes sense, but... You know, a man can dream. And then I practiced the dodge, fucking dodge, because you actually needed a lot on, on hard. And I managed to nail the timing. To gun down Nemesis in front of the RPD. Like, it, if you want those extra guns or gun parts, you really gotta try hard for that. So it makes it a lot harder than this game. You know, if you want to go for that. If not, you can just run from the enemy and be like... Sorry, no. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna fight you, boy. Oh, there's another film. Cool. We, we can check both films then. By the Queen, King, and Jack, I think it was. Queen. Even though the numbers have nothing to do with them, I think it's just like the order. Yeah! Tell you know you like love a game, but you can remember a fucking puzzle from 20 years ago. No. Cockwheel. Oh yeah, I discovered something funny here recently. So you know in B scenario, the the tyrant T00 will smash to the wall inside, and then when you go down this hole, he'll, he'll smash the outside the wall, like to the outside once again, somewhere around here. Well, even if you got him down and go back to the press room, you, if you exit, he'll still be there. Then you can kill him again, go back to the press room, exit, he'll still be there. I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's supposed to be like that, probably a glitch. He'll stop spawning once you go through the door I just went through. That's when, when he'll just disappear. Which, you, you can sink a lot of ammo into him, but you only get the prize once for killing him. So I have the cogwheel, now I want to go through the Marvin office. Yeah, I'm not even going to go to the up the ladder because the liquor is there. Yeah, so I've, I actually discovered that because Sasha asked me to play it on easy mode just for the story and to see, you know, what's different because I never actually tried this game on easy mode. and. Uh, Unlike RE3, which I only played on easy mode. And you start with a lot of ammo and all that. I don't know if zombies have less health, I didn't notice. But I didn't experiment much, I just wanted like to speed through it. <laughs> and... 
I don't know why I went back. Yeah, I went back to see if there's a new hole in the wall where the tyrant busted. Yes, there is, even though it's a little illogical. How did he do it there? But, you know, let's not go into that. Because he had to jump over a table, basically, to make that hole. And then I went back out and the tyrant music starts again. I'm like, what the fuck? T00 is back. And then I got him down again. And I'm like, hmm, if I go back to the press room, will he, you know, will he still be there? And what do you know? He was still there when I came out. So, I tried, like once he was there, I tried going to the interrogation room. He was still there. I mean, without gunning him down, of course. That's the point where I gave up on gunning him down. Film A. Code G, human body experiment. September 15th, 3.24pm. Is that what Monica brings in Outbreak? I think that's what, what it's supposed to be that she has in the in the capsule. Pictured in front of the Erica Taylor. Regressed into zombie within two hours. You know, unlike in the movies when they're like just bitten, blah, instant zombie. <laughs> and on RE4 and onwards. That's another thing that bugged me with RE4 and onwards. When they decided, you know, instead of like slow hours, sometimes even days of transformation, depending on the, you know, human subjects, like... Su subjects, um, immune system, and a lot of factors. From RE4 onwards, it's like instantaneous. Boop! Mutation. Arca Taylor is where the game starts, but it's also the same point where in RE3 you start the tram, so it's right by that fire. So we have, what am I gonna need here? I'm gonna, nothing for now, actually. You know what? Bring the double green, right? Maybe even triple? No, just double. Just double. Cause, um... Just in case something unexpected happens. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have any small keys? Nah. Don't remember if I should have found a, a magnum, some magnum ammo at this point, like a magnum clip. Again, Leon A is very, very weird to play now. There, straighten up, man. Gotta actively think about doing this. Spinning the stick. Like driving a car. Click, click. Nothing here. Now we're gonna see something, um, something. Ah, oh, there we go. Not that. That's not what I meant. So, okay, they're in the west hallway. We don't give a shit about that one. That's why we fixed the eastern one. Though we won't need that one either. Um, one of the instances where if the expansion pack is plugged in, like it is, We'll see a noticeable frame rate drop because too many polygons in your face on the screen. Without the expansion pack where the game is on like PlayStation 1 resolution, uh, that never happens. But like here when it's up to 480i, you can actually see it and it's going to be right here. Here, you can see it, right? Because all these cogs are polygons, so everything else around here is pre-rendered. But when you go, when you have polygons up in your face like that, it just dips in the frame rate. But without the, like I said, without the expansion pack, wait, really? 
Uh, yeah, I need this one here. Um, without the expansion pack, when it's, you know, at 240p, that never happens. Now I wonder, do you really, do you even have to fight the G-Adult? That's a good question though. I never tried not fighting him, let's try that. Like I said, I, I usually kill everything here. It's like, level the city before it even gets nuked. Watch out kitty, watch out, don't no! fuck it up. No. Get away! No, 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 no. I can't get the picture of Kendo's face from Kendo Mod. <laughs> was it that way? Yeah, it was. Get that come make him pay. <laughs> and she did get away. Ben! Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! Damn! I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <laughs> ben. <laughs> I like when Bitter he does that. Irony. The chief of police. Coke and spirit. Like he's about to dance. <laughs> Get that scum. Make <laughs> him pay. Pay. Hang in there, Ben. Oh, this costume is inspired by Sarah yes. Connor, isn't it? I don't know why he has it. I see it more and more as I play with him. What's wrong? <laughs> the reaction, the lack of reaction. Oh God, what was that? Ah, even she reacted better. <laughs> the guy's just, just like a body o splits open as a fucking Where are you thing. Going, Ada? Crawls out of him. To the chemical like... plant. I have a feeling that's where <laughs> I'll find John. Ada, wait. Hey. How many times did Paul Haddad had to say Ada wait in this game? Do you in different read me, ways? Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. She's so bored. A miserable death. For a miserable man. And he didn't leave anything in his cell. Where's all the weapons and ammo you gave to survivors in Outbreak, huh? Where are they now? Now oh, I can dip that blue. Just because. I'm Scrooge McDuck. To the scary door. Ooh, a wheelbarrow. I could use a wheelbarrow. Cling, cling. Is there anything written here? No. Clearly something, but okay. So, can we go around Willie's little baby? 
I don't even do, know what he does. I never approached him. Like, close enough to see how he bites. But just in case, I'm gonna bring the Magnum. And the shells, actually. Nah. Keep the shells for now. Can't remember where the next... Uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up right at the next safe room after that. Better be ready. Ah, uh, he blocks the way. I can't get past him. He's just gonna, he's just gonna smack me. Dead, bro. Ah, he's not dead. No, he's dead. Oh, there's a thing on my butt. Blah 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 blah. Night plug. There we go. Okay, kitty, you can. Ah, oh, leave my butt alone. Monsters. <laughs> How the fuck did you jump from the ceiling? Did you fell through the floor from above? <laughs> what was that all about? Oh, thanks Running for the bits. Like that was Sammy! Hello, Sammy! Sammy boy, how are you? Those zombies are everywhere. Not to Every time I see the been. name Samuel, I think enjoying I Samuel. Samuel. You're, you brainwashed me, man. You brainwashed me. <laughs> Welcome to the look, stream. Good to see you, my man. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not I'm Sarah to Connor Kennedy. I'm Leon together, Connor. Okay. All right. We'll do this your way for now. All right, Ada. My way is hold your appendix like this as you're running, okay? Because that's how you do it properly. You're not doing it right, Ada. You gotta hold your appendix. Thank you for the bits, Sammy. Appreciate it, man. So how have you been? Aside from the recent run-in. Ooh, more blues. So this is the plan, Ada. I'm gonna collect these weeds, and after we escape, we're gonna sell them for cash. Cold, cold hard cash. Thank you, Savvy. Shammy boy. How are you? Uh, how are you finding Discord? Being back, back in the world and all. Or at least our Discord. Fifteen, okay, not bad. Pack the Magnum back. But it's time to start using these almost, right? Right. I will need some room. Let's use the pistol a bit more and then I'm switching to the shotgun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. We don't need all these blues, I'm just collecting them for my herb collection. There you go. Woo! Good as new. Uh, actually, let's go downstairs first. There's gonna be some shit downstairs. I think it's about time to say bye-bye to the pistol. Actually play this properly. As in, stop 
dreading the lack of ammo like I do because at this point it really doesn't matter once I reach the lab that's it we're actually gonna finish the game in one sitting this is a this is a milestone for the channel guys instead of like four fucking episodes I'm doing it in one it hurts me because this is not how you play Resident Evil but you know I said I'll do it so here I am I'm doing it it's a backwards session of Resident Evil. There we go, Magnum Bullets. Yeah, just as I get used to these controls, we're gonna switch to a to a different playstyle. Wait, there should be another lamp. There it is. There it is. Yeah. That's it, right? There's nothing else here. Just two things. I grabbed both things. Maybe there's a file. EX file, but again, in a normal playthrough, we'll do that. But yeah. Sorry, I, I got a little swept. Uh, Samuel here is an old friend. An old, old friend. I like... He's old. We've been friends for a long time. Shotgun shells. Is it time, boys? After the, the alligator. That's, that's, you know what? Bring the valve. Don't forget the valve. Because that's, that'll make you go back. Yeah. And, uh, maybe some weed. There will be blues there to mix, but I'm gonna say, yeah, this, this should be okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be okay. I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. As long as I don't fuck up, I'll be okay. Gotta survive the aid a bit first. Oh. Oh, it's so weird. Ada. This is a good. Heads up. This is a good hallway to to hear that surround sound I've been Leon. talking about. That if you have headphones was... on, I have to talk to. It's her. gonna be very obvious. So here. I can hear it behind me. That's pretty cool. He just fucking lost consciousness from being shot, but he'll be okay. Yeah, he done nothing for a Leon. Just bullet wound. He's been bitten by zombies. Why not a bullet wound? Yes. It really breaks the game, these controls. The fact that you can just turn at will, change direction, Without turning around like a, like a semi, makes it too easy. Very easy to dodge shit as well. You don't change direction. Ah, oh, shit. See, that wouldn't have happened with tank controls because I would be out of there before they even reach me. Just hold forward, and that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. Thank you, my man. Thanks a lot, and have a good day, evening at work, even. Don't move. Let's enjoy the best cutscene in our two. The one with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Yourself. You identify yourself. Ada. Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One what? of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? What are you doing here? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. 
He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. Shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Birkin, Umbrella's William. fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. I love this cutscene. It's also the intro, like connected to the intro cutscene of the first outbreak game. Yeah. Oh, I gotta stretch my legs, Kitty. Hold on. It's sheer perfection. Sheer perfection. My precious G virus. No one will ever take you away from me. Hop. There he is. Even in the cutscenes, it has so you finally come, Doctor. We're here to collect the G virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. <laughs> you might hit the sample. That's it, all right. We shot the okay, man, but you know, out. we could hit the sample. <laughs> oh, such bad guys. So, such 90s bad William. guys. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound. I laugh, but I adore Stay this cutscene. I think it's way better here than in the remake. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample? And the music, my god, the music. We'll be in the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. So that was Ada, okay? What, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! Yeah, these scenes, that's what you see at the opening of Outbreak. Hurry! He's already mutating. Well, I was wrong. This is where the instant mutation started with the G virus. And now we go live to Jay's so those bar. rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. You just called your husband the bioweapon. And create offspring. No. Let go of my face, uh, bitch. Uh, Too bad. <laughs> don't, don't don't be so empathetic, Ada. You might break a bone. Yes, I'll go down the ladder. Ah! Hmm, what was that? Well, they... Hey, you don't even see Claire in Leon. Oh, yeah, actually, she passes him. Yeah, you see that as Claire. The screen faded to black, so maybe there was something dirty and personal. Ooh. 
Pretty sure there's some. So there's some ammo in the water, but we're not gonna need it really. Ah, more shells. I could have brought shells all along. Shooting. Nah. This guy has ammo, I think, but not that we need it. Again, in the proper run. Let's just speed this up. I can. I'll, I'll finish it tonight. That's it. Uh, IP switch, and I should check that as soon as I'm. I'm as soon as I'm out of the spider's way, because with these controls, I'm not really sure. Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. And that's how Cain from Blood Omen got those powers. To become a, a, a bat and a wolf. So let's just check. One, nine, two, okay. We got 45 minutes to the IP switch. Let's set an alarm. Uh, I'm gonna set it for 44, 43, 42 minutes. Timer actually, 42 minutes. Let's see, there we go. Run. I should have done it less. 40 minutes. Just just so long as I know that, yeah, I don't know if I'll be in a cutscene, so let's make that better. Forty minutes. There you go. Thirty-nine fifty-nine. Here we go. So that's gonna be that should be enough for me to know on time when it's gonna happen. Oops, wrong program. Yeah. Okay. So I don't miss it. I can just stop for a second with the game when it happens. Yeah, I should have just dropped the pistol. There's no reason to carry it from this point. Aside from, you know, to shoot at the croc, alligator, whatever it is. Or shells. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous! So many shells. So many ink ribbons. Come on. Somewhere there. There you go. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Later. Just an ink ribbon, not gonna need that. First time I reached this part, I remember as a kid I played it in a PlayStation game room. Or Sony Club as we call him. Used to call him at least. I don't know if they're still a thing, but basically you go there, you pay a certain amount of money to um, you know play a certain amount of time and I got to this part and I died like 15 times trying to kill this asshole alligator Ada! crocodile thing I keep forgetting there's a difference you can see it in their snouts I think this is an alligator like a sewer alligator mutant something American Urban Legends all that until I realized you know what the secret to killing this guy is. Or gal, I don't know. Maybe it's a mama gator. Oh, 
Come on. Chew it. Just one bullet. That's all it takes. And I used to sink like everything into it and still die. I would keep shooting and running, shooting and running. Yeah, like arcades, I guess. I don't know. I, I started calling it game room at some um, <laughs> at some point and I just call it PlayStation game rooms. Nintendo game rooms, whatever. But yeah, it's like a game cafe. I guess, I guess that would be a good name for it. All the city's trash. Like, this whole fucking city that, since Outbreak File 2 even has a subway, it's got, like, trams. It's, it's, it's went from town to a city. All of its trash is this. No. Some of those survive, you say. Have you ever knifed it to death? Is that even possible, Leon. zombie? This bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Yeah, is she, are you gonna see the patch on the... The patch. The bandage on the costume? Huh. Nope. That's two I owe you. <laughs> Don't mention it. They never made the texture for the costume for that. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. How? How? Because you have so little space from entrance to to the door. And the door locks once the gator comes in. How the fuck do you do that with a knife? Maybe slash the canister in his mouth with a knife? Because I can imagine that being a thing. Shit, I won't have enough room, will I? I didn't pick up the... Oh no, I will have room. Exactly. Amount of trash, huh? Nothing else there. They break the wall and gear. What the fuck? Are you making that up, zombie? <laughs> Is that even possible? Oh, love the sound of the fan slowing down. We're talking about RE2, but I'm just confused. I've never seen that, what he says. Is that is that one of those Kendo mods? Because then I can imagine that happening. I'm really curious. I'm gonna look that up. I would love to see that in action. Let's drop the pistol. Because really, it's a shame to carry the pistol out with all these shells. This is a first, guys. I never had the pistol this, like, drop the pistol this early. I usually carry it all the way to the lab. But wait! We do have a willy battle. Fuck it, drop it. If I need it, I'll be back for it. No, I won't need it. But I was like, hmm, that's too few shells, but then I saw the rest of it. What the fuck? Use the D-pad, it's easier. Yeah, that should be enough. Bring that instead. Bring that. Drop that. We're not gonna need the valve anymore at all, I think. I'm gonna take the magnum later. And that's it. That's really that's it. Yeah. We're gonna find the shotgun parts. 
on the factory thingy, I think. Yeah, that's all I need, really. Also the wall. It's like in RE1. I get all the way to the lab and I'm like, you know what, this is a good part to drop the pistol and switch to the shotgun. <laughs> when I have like 100 shotgun shells. At that point you can really just use the fucking grenade launcher. the spidey. Oh no, there's no spider. They're all gonna just rise. Rise from the dead. So fun fact, if you um, if you drain the water and go back, you can actually find some ammo on the floor of the sewer near the UBCS's bodies. And he'll comment on them e even, because he can't see them from the water before that. <laughs> Sorry, Ada. She had a... she just got spat on by a spider. Oh my god, she's hurt. She's poisoned. What happens now? Can you cure her of poison? Can you can you use health or not? It doesn't matter. As long as she doesn't die, we'll be okay. 31 slashes, okay. Send that in Discord, please. I want to see it. Don't die, Ada. What if she dies from fucking poison now? I've never had this happen before. Any blue herbs? Let's just hurry. It's an A scenario we fight in the on the cable car, right? Oh, just this part is easy. I like how they tried to do this in the remake and they failed spectacularly. Let's have him redecorate the whole roof. How many holes can a, a N64 render? Not near her. No. Oh, that's it. All the holes you can imagine. I guess he jumped off. He's like, fuck my fingers! Those are my touching fingers. Can you move, Ada? She's still okay. Again, why? It saves the position from the last one. So, even if you don't use the lighter, you can still get the key. It was always mind-blowing to me. Because I remember once with Claire, I didn't bring the lighter, and I was like, well, let me try to get it still. And I was like, oh, shit! That's pretty badass. Because it's really there. The light is there just to, you know, make it visible. Damn, I might need to hurry because of her. Might even want to save on a new slot in case I just fuck this up.
I know you're there, come on. Wait, shouldn't the parts for the shotgun? Yeah, it's very finicky. Oh, I thought I messed something up. Haha, <laughs> three for one. Is there another one here? Minimi says he cheated. Huh. That would explain. Because I never... I didn't know you could... It should be possible to do it. Okay, now it's time to get... To cheese it. And... Get the full shot. <laughs> I always loved that. How you get the full Remington and it just annihilates them. Like, takes off their whole fucking body. Let's see if we can heal Ada. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm gonna try. Nope, just myself. So she can get, she can be poisoned, but not die, because by, by this point she should be in danger. Bring a lot of health, I'm gonna say that much. Don't need it for now. Do bring this and this while we're at it, and then one of these that's gonna be more than enough. No need for F8 spray. I do. Oh, there's another one. Cool, and this. Here. Okay, at this point Ada should... I thought there were shells here too, but again, from playing too much Outbreak, I'm not sure. Now, are there? <laughs> she got stuck on the fucking platform, uh, console. There should be another magnum thingy in the bathroom, right? Or shotgun shells, something like that. Yeah, magnum, nice. The only toilet in RE2, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't realize that until I saw that on the internet that they mentioned. Like, they made fun that there's not a single toilet in the entire game, except in the train thingy. I don't even know what this is. Down key. Mikhail! <laughs> I, I love, you know, as, as much as RE3 uh, Remake did bad at many angles, like that part with Mikhail when he says get off my train shit I, I laugh at that every time that's one of the better lines in the game <laughs> when, when. no hunters are though oh pussy welcome pussy yeah Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hey MacBook Sakuya, all the 15 names. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream, bro. No. Ada. Ada. Can you hear me? Watch out. Come on, this. snap out of it. Just don't touch it. Don't touch it. Yeah, it's uh it's an N64 exclusive. So is this control scheme. You have the standard tank controls and you have this like in Outbreak only because they don't have turn animations you can kind of cheese and dodge easier with it this which is the per first time I'm uh, I'm actually playing through the entire game so the purpose of this playthrough is to do everything backwards Leon A, Claire B, the backwards story and uh, these controls which are also backwards and not reading files and like doing it as fast as I can which is also backwards because that's how you play RE games but uh, I wanted to finish it in a single session I, I'm pretty sure I will actually I will there's no pretty sure Willy my man high five oh he got another head like I like how his original head recedes into his titular area <laughs> Nah, I'm not gonna get the best rank, man. I had to save earlier. I wasn't sure. Oh. Reload the one. I could have reloaded from the menu, but no. No! No, don't come this way! Done, bro. Yeah, he's done. Nope. He's done now. I think he's done now. Yeah, he's gonna jump off now. Or no, that's actually in the B scenario. Damn. He's done, done. Excellent. I'm not gonna reload the Magnum because that's how we're gonna get free Magnum ammo later. I had to save earlier, I think, wasn't it two saves? Well, I have one so far. I had to save because um, I'm not confident in these controls, so, um, so I was like, you know, better to have a save at least halfway through the game. It was just before Ada part, I think. Though I think it was unnecessary. Don't die on me, After Ada. Outbreak, the Come game on. is pretty easy. Wake up! Come on! Does he look a little like Sarah Connor from Terminator 2 to you? Terminator 2 to you. Yeah, I think that's what they were going for. The other... <laughs> yeah, I was just talking earlier, Snort. I was just saying earlier how... Uh... Like, this is the earliest ever in RE2 that I've switched to shotgun. Usually I switch to shotgun at this part, but I realize every time that it's... that I have so many shells that it's no Welcome need back. to, so... So I did it differently. Like I say, everything... Hey, this is out of my comfort zone. Everything's inside, different I'm well than I'm used to. Lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But... I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. Some of the changes for RE2, there are you, special files only after. present in RE2. 16 but of them, 8 in A scenario and 8 in B. They connect the game to RE0, no which was then developed for N64, RE1, RE3, and Code Veronica. We're actually going to find one Code Veronica files in this I... in the lab here. I know. Uh, it also has surround sound, which is pretty cool when you have anyone. headphones. You can hear, you can hear right, like I don't want to lose from which you. side the sound is coming, an enemy We're or whatever. Which I love. Me. I'm a, right I'm a big sound guy, and uh, and uh, what else? Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? There was another thing I wanted to say. Damn getting tired let's grab this back it up aside from the weird controls 
So let's keep the Magnum as is for now. Because we're gonna get free ammo. Pack these up. We pack this up. And this. We'll leave that. There should be some thing here, yeah. Yeah, app uh, game beaten. <laughs> So this, yeah, another thing that it does, it uh, with the expansion pack that I'm actually using now, uh, the game has higher resolution than the PS2 um, version, uh, PS1 version, or any other version. I think even, I'm not sure if GameCube goes to this resolution, but basically, when there are not too many enemies on the screen, or uh, it's in 480i, while in the menus and... Like if there are too many enemies in the screen, it switches to 240p, so it dynamically changes resolutions. This is one part, I know here, that it changes resolutions, because I have to use my old TV and old capture card, because they don't, you don't see that with them, actually. With the Elgato and with my new TV, every time that happens, every time I press start, it would, we would lose picture for a second or two until it resyncs with the new resolution, because these modern scalers don't do that instantly. So, on the TV at least, and properly on the stream, the, the game looks much better than on the PS1, even though the textures are lower resolution, just because they're blown up on a higher one. That's one of the biggest differences. So, lighter, we're no, not the lighter, the key. I'll need the key, but I'm gonna bring that later, yeah. Now we go for the huge. Good thing, though, sis. Good thing. That means I'm doing something right. Here we go. I love that door sound. Now, the GameCube's max resolution is 480i. Or 576i if you're in PAL region like we are. So that's like the at best GameCube will have the same resolution as N64, which is just fucking mind blowing if you think about it. No frost though. Oh yeah. There it is. Like right behind there. I think they were hurrying up the game at this point because it's right there. You don't even have to solve anything to find it. Just turn around and take it. It's amazing how this game from almost 1.4 gigabytes fit into a 64 megabyte card. And there's a story. There's a lot of stories on the internet about it if you want to learn how Angel Studios did it with the help of Factor 5. They did magic. The, I read a few years ago that the, the game actually didn't have to be on two discs. There was an oversight from one of the programmers, I guess, who didn't um, optimize, because there's a lot of repeating files, right, across the games, and even uh, movie files. So it's been said that it could have fit on one CD. But I don't know if that's true. I never went deeper in that research. Because by that time I switched my PS1 version for this, and I never looked back, really. It's just one card with both games. Yeah, it lacks the Fort Survivor on all, all those bonus games, but it doesn't bother me because I never even played those, so... This is like the perfect version for me. It is true, like compared to the... To the remake, if we have power, we can go back there, but no reason. Yeah. Like in the remake, it just kind of drags on after the RPD. Here, RPD is the biggest. Like, it's the Spencer Mansion of this game. And after that, you just breeze through the rest of the areas, really. We're not gonna open that shutter yet. Yeah, I played them once and never again. I just don't like that. I like to play these games for the story and that's it. Oh yeah, check this out. This is... So here's one big change on the N64 version. Look what the password is. It's not Guest anymore. It's Nemesis. <laughs> Gotta love that. 
Yeah, also the files that I mentioned, Sakuya, here they are, EX files. So this, like I said, this is a short run. I'm not going to collect everything. When I do a RE Marathon in, a, in about two months, I'm going to do a good Kippy Tesla run where I collect everything. But you have these things like Jill's report about the mansion, like files that didn't exist in any other version of the game, city pamphlet. David's letter from RE3 is there, and journalist note is kind of a unique file. There are a few more that I missed at the start because I wanted to unlock the costume, so I didn't get them. Morshi, hello Morshi, welcome to the stream, my man. Yep, there's gonna, oh, there's also gonna be a mention of. Uh, we're actually very close to the Code Veronica file. So. I didn't know this my whole life. That it, instead of using the flamethrower, you can just, when I approach like this, you can just do this. This blew my mind. Fuck you. I would always use the flamethrower. No, no, man, I just tied it up. I forgot to actually let it loose. Thanks for reminding me. I see something's wrong. There. Oh, God, that's so much easier. Thank you, Morshi. <laughs> uh, nothing else. Nothing else to collect. Okay. Liquor time. My little pony. Da -da 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 -da. You've all liquors. So just before in the room before, there was the P Epsilon gas. One of my favorite missed features from this game. You still alive, sir? How dare you? Because a lot of people don't don't know the story behind P Epsilon. It's one of those A B scenarios wonders. Uh, if you release it in this scenario, it's gonna make enemies easier to kill, sure. But as the file in the B scenario says. They, they develop immunity to it over time. So what, by the time you play B scenario, all those enemies are way tougher. And also IVs develop poison. So they're not going to be a poisonous now because we didn't release the gas. We'll do it in B scenario. Um, we did it now. IVs would just like fucking spit poison. No, uh, no fucks given. But right now they're just going to hurt me and that's it. No poison. Just plain old non poisonous IVs. Also, liquors would be very hard in this scenario if we, did, if we do release the gas. So, we're gonna save that for. Oh shit! Shit, son! Should be dead now. Yep. Yeah, there are a few points in RE2 where A, B scenario, like what you do in one scenario reflects the other. Gamut even told me something I didn't know. Uh, if you don't kill Marvin in the A scenario, he's still gonna be there in B scenario. Stuff like that. A lot of it carries over. So... So, uh... Oh, thanks for the, thanks for the cheer, sis. Is that a cheer? I think that was the the sound effect. Thank you. It is Morshi. Thank you. A lot better. We had some ups and downs, but uh, it's life. That's what life is. So we're just breezing through it, clawing our way to a better time, a better life. I'm enjoying the games when I'm not working, and that's that's what's important. Enjoy life. Oh no! This is just uh, this is just uh, the N64 version. It's got its own unique stuff. Like you have, aside from the you know normal, um, aside from regular tank controls, you have outbreak light controls, so you can quickly turn. If you lightly pull the stick, use walk. If you push it harder, you run. Stuff like that makes this version unique. 
Surprise, motherfucker! I should have reloaded. So no live reloading this time. Am I fine? I'm fine. Here we go, another sing mode. I'm -a gonna sing through liquors. Liquor. Licky, licky, licky. Sticky, licky. Are you the only one? No, there's two of them. I could be fucked, but I got health, so I don't care. Oh, that was good. Two for one. Hell yeah. Two shells left. Three to go. Combine the herbs. Smoke your ass off. Huh. There's more herbs around there. <laughs> Not in RE2, more she not in RE2. <laughs> I wouldn't fucking dare to do that. I'd probably piss myself on the stream. Oh damn, you just fucked this run up, did you? I should have blocked that. Who did that? Who did the redeemed ban and in-game action? Knife of oh Sakuya. Damn it, Sakuya. Oh shit. All this ammo for nothing. Uh, well, I don't have to. I can I can redeem it to you, but let me just see how that works. Then I'm gonna decide. If I don't feel like it. I'm just gonna put your points back. Five minutes, okay. I should be okay. Whoo! Whoo wee! Alright, I lost my sing voice because I'm fucking scared now. How am I gonna survive this with the knife? I'm gonna lose my life. I gotta smoke all the herbs I hear. Oh, you fuckers, you came to see me die. Jesus almighty. Now it's okay, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you, my friend. Here we go, the knife in the hand. I'm Sarah Connor Lee and Kennedy. I'm gonna do this if it's the last thing I do. I'm gonna do it for you with a knife in the hand. I'm gonna stab myself in the foot. Oh, there's a red herb that'll come in handy, cause I'm gonna need it. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, instant, just, just say game over, man. Just tell me to kill myself, like, right now. Use the knife in my eye. What do you mean you can't use it? Of course you can. Wait, what? Oh. That's weird. That's the way you want it, game. Let it be so. Oh shit! This, I'm not. This is not David. Can I even? Uh. Oh, cool. Ow! He has a unique. Okay, that works. That works for me. Hey, wait. Shouldn't they be pale heads? Yeah, he's no David. He can't do it like David can. I got a better reach with this. Yeah, motherfucker, fall down. Ah! Look at him, Leon. Oh shit! Can you fucking aim, bro? Yeah. Oh, my foot! My, my foot, motherfucker! Uh, 
Okay, I'm good. Just a flesh wound. Hello, sir. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Oh, it's faster when you do it downwards. Okay, didn't know that. Ah! What the fuck? Who's blind here, me or you? Quickly, stab him in the foot. Yeah, fucking stab him. Oh, uh, in the ass. Ah! Uh. Come here, bro. Ah! God, this knife is useless in this game. I'm like. Ah! Unlike David's knife. Will you please die, sir? Ah! Am I orange? Yeah. Well, I got the weed of health, sir. No, wrong zombie! Are you fucking blind, man? <laughs> Come on! Can I please... Kill a zombie with a knife. I don't want to. I don't want to stomp on him. Oh Jesus Christ! Did I do it? I did it! I killed a zombie with a knife. No, no, I didn't. He's somehow still fucking alive. What's the point of the knife? It can't cut shit. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Oh. Are you dead? Please? Oh, it's dead. Oh! Victory Screech! Oh, it's time. It's time for an IP switch. So this is another spot where the IP changes. You might see a little shimmer. Between this and this screen, it changes. Oh! Jesus! Okay, IP is about to switch. Let's take a very, very, very short break. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom very quickly and then return with more Resident Evil 2 on the N64. <laughs> I'm glad it made you made you happy. Hold on, hold on. I'll be right there guys. Don't go anywhere. Uh because uh, I do that separately. Alright, welcome back everyone, welcome back. Resident Evil 2 backwards run Leon a weird controls weird outfit we're almost close we're gonna finish this tonight almost close damn I'm, I'm gone I'm already gone is there another file here or was that in the B scenario there should be another of them EX files but I think could be in the B scenario actually. Yeah, this machine is not used in uh, in this run. So in Leon A, Claire B, you never get to use it, which is a shame, really. But you know, it makes the it makes the playthroughs different. Come on, guys! Come on here! Chase my booty! Chase my booty! Is it in Beast scenario then there are pale heads? I think it is. No file. Never mind, we'll get them all in the proper run. For now, adios. Nah man, five minutes has been long up. I already played like six minutes with the knife. Or seven. I gave you more than you asked for, so... Fair is fair. Alright, we got the card. Let's breeze through these assholes. Oh shit, I will need something that's not a knife to kill the... Uh, the moth. The mothy mothy mothy. The mama moth. Yeah, it's not working after the IP switch. It takes a few minutes for it. That's why usually I take these longer breaks after the IP switch. Uh, but I didn't want to do it because I'm so close to the end of the game and I'm it's already past 10. I'm really tired, so 
I want to finish this tonight in one go. It'll be a mi milestone for the channel. Whoop! Full magnum. Three clips for it. Fuck that. Actually, fuck that for now, too. Get the shoddy. Drop the this. Yeah. That. And that, that, and that too, and all that. Fuck off. Actually, you two fuck off for now. Alright. Now we got what we need. Gotta register the nemesis code. And then back this way, yeah. Damn. Fucking... Oh yeah, this is where actually Matilda will come in handy, so I don't... Nah, I got enough ammo for everything. Yeah, there are. There are no. Like I said, it doesn't work after the IP switch. It never did. So that's why I normally take longer breaks after, um, after an IP switch, but not tonight because I want to go home. That's, that's why I was saying that. I was actually replying to that. Hey, Mati Mati. Okay, might get poisoned at this point. Ah, my face! My beautiful face! dead Jim. Am I poisoned? No. Great. No it's not. It's the it's the standard Remington from RE2. Upgraded version. Full size. Once you find the uh, the upgrade parts. Yeah there. It takes about 10 minutes after the IP switch for it to appear. But it does send me flying fucking screen away every time what the upgraded shotgun so no as far as i know it's the same i mean it's 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 like this on any version of the upgraded after you find the parts and make it longer will you operate the computer yes they didn't cha change any of that. Uh... Oh, that's it then. Yeah. So we're on the on the road to the just before you came in, actually, we did that. Yeah. There's a there's a zombie on the floor that's dead, or a person, or whatever. And if you inspect them, so where Claire finds the, what's it? What is it called? My favorite weapon from from the remake, uh, the electric gun. Damn it, I forgot, it's not the zapper, it's the... I can't, com can't remember the name of the weapon now. Spark shot! So where you find spark shot with Claire, that's where you find uh, the, uh, the shotgun parts with Leon. So we did this now. We you need two fingerprints in order for this to work. And uh, when we get here with Claire in her scenario, we're gonna add the second fingerprint and be able to enter the room. So for now, we're just helping Claire get there. Actually, yeah, it's a little finicky. Like I was just saying earlier in the stream, you gotta be at the exact spot to pick it up. It's not really obvious. Because even if you click around the corpse, nothing happens. So now I'm going to want the flamethrower and just to be safe, let's get these. Though I don't think I'll need them, but still let's get them. No ammo disc yet. Yeah, that's it. The game's done in a few minutes. 
doesn't talk to Claire. That's only again for the for uh, for the proper Claire A B Leon B scenario. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of these games. Even years later, you can still keep finding stuff. I love that. I think RE3 keep, still keeps bringing new stuff to me. The original, definitely not the remake. That has nothing new to offer. <laughs> Even after being the... For a while, it's been the Resident Evil game I beat the most times. New ways to encounter Nemesis just showed up in the last stream. Just because I did things a little different. I like the... The random part of RE3, how it changes stuff based on which part you take. But yeah, another thing that RE2 for N64 has, it has randomizer. So this is the standard run, but you, there's also the randomizer option. So all the non-key items will be shuffled around. Oh yeah, there's gonna be Ivy here, Ivy or two. I'm not reaching it. Okay. She's dead. Yeah, Outbreak was made to be just beaten over and over. Which again, I never did be before knowing how to play it properly before playing online. But uh, RE4 is the one I beat the least times, really. <laughs> I think only twice or three times. And I first played it, what, in 2000? I think, 2006. Mm -hmm. Ha! Okay. Wow. Props to you, man. That game is so fucking long. I, I wouldn't be able to do it, really, so many times. But there's an EX file there. Just fucking blows them away. Oh, that's, the, that's the problem with this shotgun. It's easy to just cut them in. In two. But if you aim up, it takes like the whole upper part of their body. Yeah, but Silent Hill 2 is, for me, is a different beast. Uh, you know my th thoughts on RE4. I, I would play 6 any day before 4, really. So this, we're not even going to use in this run. With Claire Oldie on. Now, can I take the file without the FA spray? I don't think you can. You gotta take the FA spray to be able to take the file. Yeah. Umbrella Memo. Dear Dr. Birkin, it has come to my attention that we are currently experiencing a shortage of APL-14, whatever the fuck that is. To counterattack this problem, I'm asking you and the several other labs to donate five cases of APL-14 to our facility immediately. For your information, we have discovered that our base in the South Pole is primarily responsible for this shortage. We are currently taking steps to prevent this from happening in the future. And don't worry, the Ashford's reputation is now irreparably tarnished. Your quick response is greatly appreci appreciated. Regards, Joel Alman, Vice President, USA Branch, Branch September 15. So there's the file that connects it uh, in the... Yeah, the, the to code Veronica. So we have... I think I missed... The, the ones at the start because I wasn't sure like Dario's mem and all those two three four five yeah so three files are missing because I wasn't sure if they they would um, mess up the costume the Brad 
Um, you. Oh. The Brad zombie you spawning, so I didn't want to take husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the G virus, didn't you? No, no, David Ford from. That's a file from, from RE3, me. actually. This is my husband's legacy. Hell, <laughs> lots. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? Yeah, his other costume in, <laughs> on the so M64 gullible. is... Um, He's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. Is the star's costume. The why she came here is that Jill has, I think, in the virus. remake. The one with the hat. That's a lie. No, it's That's the a truth. lie. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. What happened? I like how she's losing her footing, but Leon's like, nope. Firm as a fucking column. With more columns on it. And <laughs> the physics of that. <sighs> Moment of silence. Don't throw away your lighter, man. Gonna need it. The self destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. <laughs> All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. All employees proceed okay, it's time. Do I even need to go for Ada or can I just go without her? Let's try that. Is she gonna interrupt me if I go here? Yep. Leon. Because if you go back and check, she's gonna be, where's Ada? I can't find her. I've been waiting for you, Leon. Oh, really? What, what are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G virus. G virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right about everything. That's Come why on, I told get you to leave job, without uh. me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. I don't want to shoot you, Leon. You can't do that. Can you suit me? <laughs> don't suit me. Ah, oh, fuck. Woo. Oh. Ada! Yeah, I think they almost finished Ada, the enhanced edition. I got you. Don't give up. G, G virus. Like not Sherry, not William. It's, it's G virus, over. my love. Just let me go. Shut up. You're gonna make the PC it. port of SH2 has the same thing as this Too game. Late. It's the only SH2 version I know that you can do the same as oh, in no. this RE. When you push the stick further, no. you can run without holding a run button. I always like that. You just have to help me out here. I really wanted to escape with you, Leon. But yeah, I would always escape. prefer the PS2 version too. The, the director's cut version specifically. Goodbye. Also, I never was able to get the Easter eggs in Silent Hill 3 work on PC. Uh, they should, it should, because, you know, on the consoles it checks your memory cards for this, uh, for the save file, and then, you know, in no. Silent Hill 3 checks for a Silent Hill 2 save file, then you can open those Easter eggs, like the toilet comment, the, the, no letter from a dead wife and all that, but I've never been able to do that on on the PS. I'm sorry, on the PC. This is what everyone's been dying. 
the fuck it? This is top class research. No rounds in the magazine. So she was bluffing. What made her do that? Yeah, the Aiden never dies like Leah. People on the internet said it works, but I've never been able. It's like you gotta leave, I guess, the game, inst the default install directory or whatever, which is a real shame. That's a pretty cool. It's a pretty good, cool uh, addition. I did it in the last stream, though. With uh, I thought somebody actually told me it wouldn't work from the director's cut version of Silent Hill 2 to Silent Hill 3, but it does. It it does load. It does check for the director's cut save as well, and it did find it. Oh, pale heads! Come on, I don't have all day. Oh, it doesn't take half of their bodies, just a head. Why do I shoot straight? It just makes me use more bullets. There we go. that either. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. I do want that. Fuck that as well. Just all the help. Yeah, that's all I need, really. And the ribbon. There we go, two saves. Yeah, in the remakes there are only one or two, like in, the, in, in RE2 remake there's only one or two good songs, one I think? Yeah, actually yeah, the T00's team when he's talking to you, I love that. And at the very end, the Collapse song. That one's really, really good. But uh, everything else, there's no music in the remake. They're trying to make them atmospheric, which is, you know, it's changing too much. Ari's always had good music. RE3, I don't think, even has any music. Well, what the fuck is that shit? <laughs> I doubt there's gonna be an S rank. I took too long. Four hours. This is my personal best time in life, so we'll see. I know once on stream, I, uh, I think it was Liam B. I beat with only one save, and I still got a B for time. Yeah. Hey, at least here we have the elevator. Elevator. <laughs> I love those old spelling errors. I think you gotta finish below three hours to get the uh, S rank. Woo! There we go. Now we go to the tougher part of the battle. Oh, 
No, sir, please. Woohoo! Jesus Christ, I'm fucked. Woo! Where's the ammo? One more bullet. Fuck it, I'm gonna do a manual reload. Because why? Because I can. Hold on. Yeah! If I didn't do that, it would be... It would be really shitty. <laughs> Pong! Thanks, guys, thanks. Goodbye, Mr. I. Let's go meet Yoko and the gang. Not now! There we go. GG indeed! You get the uniform, man. <laughs> I have to find my brother. You're right. He had it underneath the, the costume. Goodbye, Ada. And that's it. That's Resident Evil 2 on the N64. Well, half of it at least. Uh, we'll do the Claire B scenario. Well, sometime before... <laughs> sometime before... Uh, before we actually start the Resident Evil Marathon. So, I don't know who, whoever missed it on Discord. The Saturn version of... The PAL Saturn version of RE1 arrived uh, last week. So that's... The, the marathon's gonna consist of the first three games are gonna be RE1 on the Saturn, um, RE2 on the N64, and RE3 on the PlayStation. That's like covering the, all, all three big consoles of the generation with uh, the original RE3 trilo trilogy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did it like RE4 style. Yeah, in one sitting, yeah. And then, well, I'm gonna have a team ready here with a big spatula to, to you know, separate my ass from the couch. <laughs> Alison Court, before she did Green Herbs and directed Voices in <laughs> Outbreak. You did your marathon in one sitting, good luck to you. <laughs> uh, while we're at it, well, let's just throw in like both outbreak games, Survivor, RE4, RE4 in one sitting. On top of all of this, <laughs> RE4 is like what? I think it takes me like ten hours, or even more, fifteen hours to beat that game. <laughs> And then RE6, just to top it off. 5, then 6. Uh, I am playing through Revelations for the first time, so I started that game twice. Both Revelations started in twice and gave up, and this time, like, the third time's the charm. I got to episode 10, 
The game's fucking stupid as shit. I can't believe that people say that's better than RE6. To me, it's not. I'm sorry if, uh, if someone feels that's that's a better game than RE6. No. At least I have fun in 6. This this is like you're still stiff like an RE4. The dialogues god awful. Those two jokers, what are their names? I forgot one of them's code, code name is Jackass. Jesus fucking Christ. Who, why are they in that game? Jessica. Oh, like why is her one leg bare? But we'll get. I'm playing through those games just to, you know, be ready for the stream, just to know what's going on so I don't get stuck for too long once I get to the marathon. But fucks, at some points I'm like, who wrote this? Who wrote this? And furthermore, who approved this? <laughs> who, who said, this is Resident Evil? Good job, guys, we're publishing this. <laughs> A. Still not S. 15 minutes less. If I fucked around a little less. This is my personal best time. Hey. This is my fucking personal best time. Nice. Nice. I'm glad they did that for you. Um, Trollsaurus. I'm pretty sure there's S in, in here as well. Let's use the save save, not that I'll be back to this, with this control scheme. And that was RE2 on the N64, well the first half of it, we'll do the second half. Maybe next week or so, keep an eye on the schedule, I update it as life updates Sasha and myself, so we'll see. Yeah, new stuff on the schedule there is... I picked Tuesday and Thursdays as days off, because, well those days I have meetings with my... Uh, with my client so I thought you know that's the those are the best days to actually chill out so I don't have to stream uh, seven days a week it's good to have some rest and yeah that's new what else nothing else I'm done for today thanks everyone for watching sticking around four and a half fucking hours you people are wonderful good night zombie good night Sakuya, Luca, Trollsaurus, Kun and everyone else there I see I'll see you soon Bye.